to Google before it starts. No, I went ready. Hello, Spuds. This is Froggy, and today we are starting the Zombles podcast. Podcast we've had in mind for quite a while, and it's not solidified, so here it is anyway. Whoop! We have Zach and Alfie and moi as the uh, podcast hosts, so... We may You're get fucked. D- depending depending on <laughs> depending depending on how long this goes on for, we may get some special guests in here, and who knows where it's a warm dog holes. Love, <laughs> don't screw don't up, screw Doug. Up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Any of you two want to make a comment before we go on the first topic? I just kicked over my bin. Okay, Alfie, you want to make a comment before we start the first topic? <laughs> no! Okay, worry, first topic is Baby Monkey. What What did you think about that? i got the song in my head. <laughs> baby Monkey. I, baby I'm monkey. not sure whether right the song on. was made... Was the song made before the, the monkey ride, rode the pig, or was it made afterwards, do you think? Most probably afterwards. It's just a little baby monkey running backwards on the baby pig. Baby monkey. Riding on a pig. Baby. Like a mobile bestiality 69. <laughs> 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 Give it to me, Becky, baby monkey, give it to me. Uh, <laughs> oh, so that's why the pig is making so much noise. Yeah, there you go. And it's actually the pig that was singing the song as well. The, the, the pig's running away. Baby monkey, no, don't ride me. Oh, stop licking my anus, baby monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that baby monkey grew up to be the monkey masturbating. <laughs> Oh my god. Or the monkey that rapes the frog. <laughs> YouTube link will be in the description. Or it will now that I've made it. Oh, YouTube links will be in the description of anything we do talk about. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Good. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <no. laughs> okay. What? Why did this have to be a topic, Doug? Because <laughs> it had to be. I don't know why. I don't make up the topics. I just write them down. Well, so you make them up. So you make them up, then. <laughs> have you got in brackets, must watch that and masturbate later. <laughs> <laughs> it's the next thing on the list, you know. At least I spent half on manhub.com. Yeah, the next thing on the list, manhub.com. <laughs> Oh, Time God. to party. <laughs> oh, yeah. Two guys, one sander. <laughs> two, two guys, one cupcake. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. oh, my God, no. <laughs> two, two guys, guys one, one giant day. sandwich and a black guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Technic three three guys on a sandwich. No 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 no. Black guy is entirely no. a separate thing. He's he's not part of this. He's is he, just he's there. being racist now, Doug. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> what so of it? Just, is he just a narrator? Yes. And the he, first yeah, white yeah, man yeah, shoved the big sandwich up the second man's butthole. <laughs> <laughs> is he the magical black man that lives in the forest? Yes, the magical black man that lives in the forest. Don't worry, he doesn't even bat ladder. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even bat ladder. He oh. doesn't even stick shark. <laughs> oh, he oh, doesn't even warm dog hole. <laughs> oh. oh my god, so many inside jokes. Oh, yeah. yeah, inside jokes. You've got to love the inside jokes, though. Eventually they become the outside jokes. Yeah. Like oh. my anal seepage. <laughs> Is that an outside joke, is it? It, w- it will be soon, don't worry. <laughs> it will be outside all over your face. Don't forget your prolapse. <laughs> oh, 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 now it's an outside joke. <laughs> oh. Oh, I love how oh. an outside joke is an inside joke. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. 
Aww. Like prolapse. <laughs> yeah. And hemorrhoids. <laughs> At least I'm not the one who Googled it. You don't need to Google hemorrhoids. You <laughs> already know what hemorrhoids are. Come on. Alfie did. I Googled hemorrhoids <laughs> on an iPhone using Siri. I want to see what hemorrhoids look like. He goes, um, Siri goes, I can't, I don't know what you mean, but I can always Google hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yes, please do. <laughs> Thank you, Siri. Please Google hemorrhoids for me. <laughs> it's much appreciated. <laughs> Link will be in the description. <laughs> Well, Google link to, Im- to hemorrhoids. Yeah, Google image link to hemorrhoids. Link in the description, guys. <laughs> oh, I, you you know how some you know how some like websites and stuff do this thing where like let me search that for you. Yeah, yeah. And it and it like it like goes in and searches. I, I'll try and put one of those in there. <laughs> well. Oh my god! Oh, it's not raining anymore outside, which is good. It was raining. Yeah, finally. We've got a nice blue sky, little bit of sun. <laughs> Uh, we've got grey sky and no sun. Uh, just yep, you wait. Right. Just you wait until that lovely Welsh summer comes in, and then we'll oh. get fucked. Oh. <laughs> Welsh is well known for its summer. Yeah, yeah. The the rain. Well, said, the rain is nice and warm actually, which is kind of scary. Is. The rain is really nice that time of year. Mm. Oh. You can go out and take a shower in it, and people do. Dear God. We're only nudists, don't worry. We're not masturbating to your children through your windows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, masturbation. Yeah. We are so, pro-masturbation, if you didn't know. Yeah, that's our, that's our clan name. <laughs> Pro-masturbators. <laughs> yeah. Or pro-mast, for sure. Oh, or pro-jack. <laughs> Best, it's the best type of handheld gaming there is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. It only takes one hand as well. I know. Uh, if you're super pro, you do it with two. Our offensive you slogan must have a is dick, we will pre more luck to you. A what? Our you offensive have... slogan will be we will cream all over you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's creaming time. Oh, oh yeah. Whipped or sour. <laughs> full cream, baby. Full cream. <laughs> full cream. Full cream sour. Yeah, yeah. How did you know what my body was covered in? <sighs> well, I so don't have a... I wasn't a looking it up in. earlier. <laughs> what, you were looking up seepage? So what? <laughs> yes. Oh. Seepage, what? <laughs> I think that's what that guy's that's what's in that guy's sandwich. You know in your picture. In fact oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop that picture up for like a few seconds. Like, that that is anal seepage right there. Well <laughs> it's like if your ass had a period that's what that sauce looks like right there. <laughs> <laughs> like a layer of shit and then just like pink blood. And then that orange melting stuff is just all your prolapse in there. Yeah, and then on top, just a pile of pickles. And there's a and giant black hemorrhoid steak. underneath that. <laughs> no, that's and, then, and then it puts in a burger, and then a, a, back, a black man tries to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Who appears to be very happy about that fact. <laughs> I mean, look at it. Look at the size of that burger. How could you not be happy with that? Like, yeah! Story, but... You know how I would look if I was to eat that burger? How? I would look like that like, guy right there. <laughs> like a penguin. That's actually a ninja. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Mr. Bicycle Helmet. I really don't know where I got that inspiration from, to be honest. But... Penguin Ninja. <laughs> yeah, Penguin Ninja. I don't know where I got that from. Some people could ask you, where did you get prolapse and anal seepage and other black oh, man oh, in the forest? Um, from Zach. Zach, I didn't, Zach. Say, I didn't say prolapse and seepage. You came up with that. I came up with a story called The Forest. <laughs> what is this story of The Forest? Oh, it was a story that... Because Alfie wrote a book to me on Minecraft, I decided to write one back. Yeah, like, and he wrote it, it like, about... Um, <laughs> Alfie taking a little stroll in the forest and the magical black man jumps up from behind the tree, pulls down his trousers and jizzes inside his anus and runs <laughs> off. Yeah, and now I have a love child. <laughs> <laughs> it was something like 15 pages long. 
That's his name's like Leroy. A, a really, really sick gotcha moment. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Speaking of he doesn't which, even... Go on, sorry, right. My friend, yes, well, Alfie's girlfriend Lauren bought our friend Aldo Fifty Shades of Grey book. Yeah. That's kind of weird. I didn't, he of didn't even buy me a copy. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna You're just do up the arse. Get you. Do up the arse with no lube tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so you get some anal jelly. burn. Ah, oh, some anal seepage right there. <laughs> He's jealous. He didn't get Fifty Shades. I should send it to her in a package. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, Fifty Shades of me on there. <laughs> oh. Fifty, 50 shades, shades of me. Of if shit. you look. If you look hard enough, you can see the whole spectrum of brown. <laughs> There's a hint of red. Oh. Oh. Sorry, that was from anal tearing. I do apologise. And then he ends up with a little bit of white in there too. Oh, Sorry, I got excited while I was doing it. <laughs> I asked someone what Swarly was. What, oh. what was? Swarly. Swai? Swali? Shit and jizz. Oh. Dude! <laughs> At the same Google. time? Google. <laughs> I'm not really... sure how you spell it. <laughs> Is he actually Googling it? Oh my god. Swali. Yeah, Swali. What <laughs> is it called when you shit and come at the same time? <laughs> Oh my god. Is he really googling this? Can a man poo and ejaculate at the same time? <laughs> it says it says not really, one will lead it's not like peeing and pooping. That's what it says here. Imagine if someone shit themselves, pissed themselves, vomited and sneezed all at the same time, what would happen? You'd be in a vacuum. You'd fucking explode. In a vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, if you're in a vacuum, you simultaneously piss, shit, vomit, and all that before you explode. Hmm. There you go. There you go, people. You will explode. Well, <coughs> if anyone has any experiences of being in a vacuum, please leave a comment below. <laughs> if, anyone's, if anyone's done this in a vacuum, yes, please, please comment below. If you didn't implode, then you can comment below. If you did implode, however, we have comment no below. interest in talking to you. But comment if you, below. If you, if you suck yourself off of a vacuum, um, please, please PM me. Um, <laughs> PM him your, your address and and when you yeah. want him to be there. And what Hoover you've got, what kind of suction it delivers, you know. <laughs> <laughs> My YouTube account is youtube.com forward slash. Your your YouTube Rated. accounts will be linked in the description anyway. Oh no! Like, oh, oh. Um, can we edit this out? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid not, Alfie. Oh, I'm afraid not. Everything oh, no. goes. Everything goes. You're well, screwed. If you're still interested, you can always borrow my my Hoover. So PM me. <laughs> um, my, my YouTube name is uh, C Nana's. Um. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> no, it's not. Come on. <laughs> you can't be sending people to them. <laughs> He's going to be like, what the hell? Yeah. Why does this person want to use my Hoover to suck his dick? <laughs> Why did this person send me a Hoover? What is in the Hoover? Oh my god. <laughs> send me pi- please PM me pictures of your sexy Hoovers in their best lingerie. <laughs> I'll be putting together a, a montage of sexy Hoovers. <laughs> For my next video. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we will play it on top of one of these podcasts. <laughs> Just lunge, <laughs> in lingerie. <laughs> oh my god. What oh my the god. hell? And and um and it'll be played with the Queen song. Um, <laughs> I want to, I want to break free. Was that Queen? I think yeah. so. I want to break free. Break free. Is it me or did one of the... Like, he sort of fit that dress. He really did suit that dress. 
He did, didn't he? Like, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm nursing trying to, the I'm trying to Google, but I cannot, I cannot for the life of me remember how you spell Swally. <laughs> well, uh, are you sure it's Google. not Swahili? Maybe, I don't know. No, Swahili is a language. <laughs> well, yeah, true. Yeah. Um, but, why do I have a seahorse pen? I don't know. Is that the weirdest pen you've got? I just found it on my desk. It's just a seahorse pen. What the fuck? Get out of here. Fucking seahorses trying to invade my desk. Get out of here. Come on and talk about other topics. Have we got baby cakes? <laughs> we have not got baby cakes. Yeah, let's we change the topic before baby we cake. carry on with anal yeah. siege. <clears throat> we haven't got a baby cake. The, ne- the next uh, topic is, is of gaming. They gaming. Said. Yes. World at War. That's the next gaming topic. Gaming or gaming or gay man? Get, get, yeah, for you it's gay man, but for everyone else it's gaming. <laughs> for gay men, go to manhub.com. For gay men, go to manhub.com. Manhub.com does not sponsor this show. Subscribe to my channel, www.manhub.com forward slash anal seepage daily. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Okay. Yeah, next topic is uh, World of War. World of War. Personally, I think that's one of the best Call of Duties, to be honest. I do as well. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Where did the best Call of Duty? Uh, if it, it wasn't for the MP40, it would be really balanced. And that yeah, that's true. Be, still be a great game for multiplayer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you but, remember when... Uh, that's the good thing about the PC version. You can find, like, um, super heavily security servers. Ah, cool. Yeah, if you find like, those servers, um, they're really good because like the admins are on like twenty four seven, and they really, really do kick every single hacker they can find. Even the ones that do like tenth prestige hacks, they instantly kick them out because they might be doing other hacks too. Ah, or, you, or a bit like um, Valve anti cheat, that sort of thing, but with constant admins. Yeah, yeah, they've got like a Valve anti cheat system, but it's better because they their anti cheat systems are built by the people who did the hacks in the first place because they don't want them on their servers because they're like. I built the hack so that you could do things on your own. I didn't yeah. build the hack so you could go online and ruin multiplayer. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So they know exactly what they're doing. Oh, yeah, well, Doug, do you remember when you, me, and Chris used to play World of War multiplayer for hours? On your mum? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally <laughs> on my mum. What? Anal CP John Sachs' mum? Yeah. yeah, yeah, just type that into Google on Manhub, you'll find it. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Manhub.com it's forward slash anal man, CP John Zach's mum. Subscribe to me, it's exactly what Doug just said. Anal CP John Zach's mum. Oh my god! <laughs> I found it! Oh look, it's Zach's mum. Oh my god. god oh look what we're doing! Oh, oh my oh, god, no. she's rubbing her tits with seepage. So what? I'm getting a bit distracted here, guys. Okay, we need to get off this topic of CP. <laughs> yeah. Back to, game, Back to uh, main gaming. Come on, World of War, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zach, remember that game we went into? What happened was we went into a game, yeah. and then me, Zach, and Chris all were between 20 and 15 oh, kills. I remember this game. And we had like almost no deaths between us. And then as soon as that game the next, ended... The next game started, like that game, that game ended, the next game started, and... Everyone left. left. <laughs> even our own team members left. Don't worry, he doesn't even party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Doug, do you remember me being on a one bar on that one game? In oh, World BA- yeah, I spawn in. Okay, I'm running across the map now. Are you spawned in yet? He's like, wait a minute, I, I'm still loading. I was like, okay, are you spawned in yet? Yeah, I spawned in. You spawn in like halfway between the map and For the, the one enemy. Bar <laughs> and I was like, oh, Zach, you're going to have probably have a bad game. Why? Look at your connection. He's like, oh, it's a one, but oh, I'm going to have a bad game. Douche, 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 douche. Oh, Doug, here's Friendly the... Friendly airstrike, yeah. inbound. Douche, 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 douche. Friendly <laughs> dogs, just... inbound. And then just the kill feed just fills up with me killing everyone for the BAR with a one oh, bar connection. Oh, no, it's just like... What, did, what happened? Did you end up behind them or something when you spawned in? No, I spawned in. I walked around the corner. I saw the whole enemy team just in one area, so I just blasted my gun. That BAR, that third person sound for that BAR was really cool. That was. Then they took it out in Black Ops. I thought, ah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember on Black Ops using the uh, Python. <laughs> oh, yeah, the. Boo, oh, boo, 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 boo. And you can hear it all across the whole map. 
All I was thinking was bam, 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 bam. Just the man can just blasting it everywhere. That was brilliant. Oh, uh, well, I think the was... trench gun had that issue as well, didn't it? I think it did when you upgraded it. Yeah, you heard uh, it, every... it was normal as well when you when you had it normal and upgraded. Oh yeah, the boomstick as we called it. Yeah. Uh, do you remember where you? It was on your old channel. We were videoing Ascension. Insta kill happens. I die instantly. Yeah, yeah, but that happens a lot because you know insta kills not one hundred percent guaranteed to make you survive. I know, but I clearly knifed that zombie first. Bastard. Alfie. But yeah. Yes. Comments. Alfie. Comments. Um. He's on Manhub to even notice. <laughs> He's like, I'm on Manhub. I'm I'm distracted right now. <laughs> um, I'm on Gary's mod. I found this um, this um, was it called a dupe? It's called Sexy Miranda. Fap fap fap. <laughs> but I just oh. get a big error. I found one called Sexy a Hot Mossman Blue Joel. Oh, quite, quite good. I'm not really, by the way. No, World <laughs> at War. Um. Yeah, it's a good game. It's um, I reckon it had the best zombies on it. Um, yeah, it did. <clears throat> had the best guns, had the best perks. It's just ruined by the MP40 being ridiculously overpowered. Yeah. And all the hackers as well. Yeah. Well, well on the PC, like, you don't really have that problem much. Like, even Wasn't the it? snipers were really good. Mm. Wasn't it the MP40? Oh, re- remember that game, Zach, where like you, you were running around and I was killing everyone just before you got to them. Yeah, that and was... I was across the map with a PTRS, so just headshotting everyone. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. It was, it was on the same map. Oh, I can't remember the name of that map. It was um, it's right in front of the Reichstag. Oh, la, 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 you've got me. Yeah, what's that said? <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, but you, you uh, remember that um, map, right? The big map. Yeah. Tanks on it, and it's right in front of the Reichstag. Yeah, yeah, I um, know what map. Anyway, on there. You can get to this like um, you can go up and around this uh, this building, and yeah. then when you're on the top floor, you jump across a gap, and uh, then you can sit in the window. Yeah. What happened is I'd keep popping out through this window, and then I'd run to the other side of the building and pop out the uh, the other side of the broken wall, and I'd constantly swap between those two places. But every time Zach ran around a corner, I would take out the two or three people that were running around the corner that he was chasing. <laughs> And then he'd be standing there just with no one, and he'd be looking side to side. What happened to them? <laughs> I killed them. <laughs> you bastard. Oh, and then I'd run to the other side. He'd run to the other side. I'd kill the people in the bunker. He'd go inside the bunker. Where the hell are they? <laughs> Were you yeah, doing them to piss me off? No, no. I just It just happened to be every time I run across, you would run across, because it took you longer to run, because you're actually running the distance, and I'm just running across a house. No, no. I think I had a heavy gun, so it didn't help. Yeah, you, uh, I think you were running around with a uh, Browning that game. Oh yeah, Alfie said it down downfall was it? Downfall, yeah, that's downfall. right. Yeah. Yeah. I have a I have a question. Yes. Go on. Um, best best small map out of all the Call of Duties. Oh. So out shipment, shipment. dome. Shipment. shipment. Really. Shipment. Yeah. Even though it's a horribly designed map, it was the best for one v one. If you want a small map, it's a really good map. And if uh, if you if you're on about a, a small map for actual multiplayer gameplay with with a couple of people on there. I'd say Dome because Dome was pretty well designed. Yeah, you Dome could turn you could turn a game around if, if you were a good player on Dome. Mm. What about um, Rust on Modern Warfare Two? Hell no. 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 Rust, no. 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 If, if, if you get anything, anything like an airstrike or anything like that, there is no hiding from it. Like there, at, there le- at least on Shipman, hide, but... at least on Shipman, you could go underneath the. Um, you could go inside any one of the. Um, containers. Containers, and that's it. You or were shielded a, a from an airstrike. Yeah. Oh, uh, Doug, do you remember when you mean Chris played, like, I think it was Mike Myers on that? Yes. On yeah. shipment. And we learned that you could jump onto the roofs of things, and yeah, uh, we were going from container to container. It was so funny. It was under containment. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. I see what you did there. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> oh, too bad he doesn't even container. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even ship it, so don't worry. <laughs> But saying that, Nuketown is a very good map as well. Nuketown was fun. Nuketown was good. Nuketown was good. Yeah. Uh, the the Black Ops 2 version of it is pretty good as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's the only thing I don't like about Black Ops 2 is that it's very gun 
gun based instead of perk based. Hmm. Like, That's actually something I like about it. Really? I find that was myself... something I found in World of War. No matter what perk I had, I could still win the game. And what I found on Black Ops is no matter what perk I have, I can still win the game. I think Black in... Ops 2, I, like, if a bunch of enemies come at me, um, I, I <laughs> oh, get... I, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God, I love it when they come at me. But no. Um... <laughs> That's their ultimate <laughs> weapon, semen. <laughs> but... But when you find yourself against a bunch of enemies, you can't kill them all. Whereas on th- something like Black Ops One or Modern Warfare, you could easily kill them all in one go. Yeah, but I found I found that on on you know like for example Modern Warfare, I would get screwed over by a lot of stupid shit. Yeah, that is true. You know, you got for what what happens? You know, um, you got uh, Marty Dom. Marty Dom oh, pisses yeah. you off no matter what game it's in, right? Yeah. 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 Well, uh, Modern Warfare Three took it to the next level. Oh yeah, with like Dead, was man's, it? Dead hand. man's hand. With, with Dead Man's shitty hand. <laughs> yeah. Someone went down. They turned into like a mini nuclear bomb. Oh yeah, that that annoyed me when yeah. I was playing multiplayer. It was like throwing. It's like when you throw C4 into a room and then someone decides, you know, I'm going to turn this into an AC-130 blast. <laughs> Did have you ever have you ever seen that on the uh, Modern Warfare Two? Um, like the mods that came out for it, like the, the way the lobbies got hacked. No, what like the walking was, AC-130? Yeah, there was one of them. You know, walking around, and all they're doing is holding a laptop, and there's AC-130 rounds coming out of this. Yeah, laptop. that's so it. Fuck yeah, it. that's funny. And then you get the little bird as well, where it's a um, an Apache that follows you around. Yeah. And shoots everyone. Yeah. It's, it's actually a little bird that follows you around. Oh, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then was... and then there's one called anal seepage and you just walk around and <laughs> what is, stuff one of the things I really will give to Black Ops 2 is they've <laughs> upped the ante on the campaign yeah the campaign I there were so many did... different ways it could be played mm. and the story could be told one thing I, I didn't like, like about it though campaign. was they, they gave it this new idea of you know you can play this round where it's like a, a tower defense mode oh that was annoying oh, yeah. that I, I you know they, they brought that in yeah, it pissed me off. The reason why it pissed me off is not because they brought it in, but because they hinted at the idea, and that was the only mission in the campaign. Yeah, it was. It, it never happened. Again. Excuse me. It never happened again. No, uh, but you could like select like the other missions, and I thought, fuck no, that. I, I thought there was a little campaign with the, with that tower defense type. Thing. No, 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 no. It was a, a, one mission, and that was it. No, oh. there was there were four. There were four of them. Yeah, there was. I, four. I never got into yeah. the other missions. I only found because. Oh, because they can like yeah, um, go to the help mission list and change yeah. the story a bit. Screw that! I don't even want to because it was shit. I mean, yeah, the tower defense was like pissing annoying, but it was like because the, the AI uh, uh, more stupid than a monkey riding a pig backwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Your teammates were fucking retarded. I mean, I flew down to them. Yeah, I flew down to one, and he was mm-hmm. standing there, like neck and neck to an to an enemy player, just standing there. Watching, watching himself be filled with bullets. <laughs> He's like, oh, fill me with bullets. Oh, oh let your bullets touch my body all over. <laughs> <laughs> Although, oh. I wish they brought back like the Dempsey and all that for the zombies. Yeah. You know what would be like... good to add to zombies? What? Have you, have, you seen the, have you seen the adverts for the new Black Ops 2 map that's coming out? Yeah, well, it doesn't look that good to me. I think it looks really good. Mm. I I think they I think that you know they they take they're taking some things that were bad about other maps, but they are making them better. Mm. Like um, they're taking the idea of Romero with uh, the the uh, what, what's that what's that new Romero guy called uh, Brutus or something like that. Uh, He's like a prison guard that's going round. Oh right, okay. Yeah, well. Anyway, they're taking the idea of Romero, but they're they're toning him down, so he's less he's less lot less health, and um, he's not as annoying. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, that that took me a while to figure out what the fuck he was going on about. Yeah, I'm not even. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's a good idea because Romero, he wouldn't have been as annoying if he didn't have so much health. That is uh, true. Yeah. 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 True. Yeah. 
So they, they've just done that. They've taken the thing that was annoying about him. That he had just had so much health. You just, all you were doing was buying ammo, shooting him, buying ammo, shooting him, buying ammo, shooting him. It just ended up becoming a bore. You know, he wasn't just a, a stronger zombie. He was just yeah. god. Yeah, he was like a mini god, a demigod, if you will. Like uh, it would, it would be like having Loki walking towards you. Fuck that! You're shit. standing there thinking, "I'm fucked," but if I do want to kill him, it's just going to be a very, very long drone to kill him. Hmm. Yeah, especially with a zombie like... horde on your ass. Hmm. A bit like a tank in Left 4 Dead. I no, no, because the tank actually, you know, if you've got a good team. Because Left 4 Dead's all about team play, which changes yeah. the game completely. And okay. Mr. AI Director. Yeah, Mr. Well, Mr. AI Director, he, he sort of changes it, but it it's like um, he he makes it so that you can't go through a map once and then you can go through it every other time after that and you can win it every time. He makes it so you have to go through a map 60, 70 times to learn roughly where the spawn areas are, where the director likes to put characters in um what play style works for you you know you've got to work out all these things where medkits have a possibility of spawning where they don't where <clears throat> yeah. guns possibility spawns are where they're not you know you have to go through it a number of times before you figure these things out yeah but then the tank is is actually kind of good because if you've got a good team a, a team that works together you can take the tank down in seconds well we're screwed <laughs> <laughs> is that why we keep getting killed by it, Doug? No, 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 no. You have to have a team. Ha- if you want to do that, you have to have a team all with assault rifles. But you can't have a team with all the assault rifles because it's a bad idea. But uh, I'm on about like, if if you if you've got a bad team, a bad team will have all of the members concentrating fire on the tank. A good team will have at least one member. And generally, I take this role. I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep looking out. I'll keep looking around. And what I'm looking yeah. around for is I'm looking around for other special infected. And then one person like takes the tank like around, I'm guessing. No, no, no. The, the team just, you know, you lead him backwards. You lead him yeah, backwards. Yeah, that's what I mean. You stay away from cars and anything else that he can punch towards you. But you'll always have that one player looking out around for special infected because it's the one special infected that will piss you off and screw you over if you get biled on you're fucked because number one the person who's biled on the tank will go straight after him <laughs> and so will the horde and so will other special infected <laughs> yeah. or like the, the one player gets hunted and while the other players are trying to focus the tank has already gained the ground on you and he's now on top of you <laughs> your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I just got this mental image of you bit and on the floor with the tank sorry, on you what? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> And you and you guys wonder why I play Left 4 Dead 2 with a boner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised if you've seen the witch. Oh, yes. Well, well, to you, she's a normal zombie Zach. So. Yeah, since she's quite hard to spot on my end. <laughs> hard. I, I, I've, I've always wanted to I don't change change her. And I don't know what to change her to. I, for a while, I had her from I had her as armor from Fear. Right. Like the way she looked in Fear 2. I had her like that for a while. Yeah. I know you can get cheats or hacks or something for um, fear that puts her in a bikini. <laughs> no, no, not, no, not a bikini. I think she's just covered in blood, actually, naked and covered in blood. That's a thought. That's a thought. I may change her, not not change her completely, but just change it so that she has a period stain <laughs> over yeah. her mouth. <laughs> I thought Omer in Fear Two was always naked, anyway. Oh, she is. Pedophile. I'm sorry. She is, isn't she? Uh, in Fear 2, when she's like a teenager or adult sort of thing, she's wandering around naked. <laughs> Sometimes she appears to you in her child form as well. Because yeah, I was thinking, wait a minute. Yeah, because in, in her child form, she's in like a little dress. Yeah, in a red dress. Yeah, because um, I've played Fear... Yeah. I haven't finished it yet. I've still got. I mean, no, I've got. I've got to restart the the playthrough that I was doing. Yeah. Uh, but I've got to play Fear, and then I've got to play Fear Two, and uh, you know, our our Fear. Um, it's not really terribly scary. It's more of a oh god. It's more like a jump, sort of a mini jump scare. In a yeah, way. it's like a, oh god. Oh, would you yeah. look at that? Ooh, oh, hello. <laughs> and you're just like, oh shit! I didn't see that. <laughs> 
is it, or when when um, Optimus Primes come out to play. Uh, Optimus Prime. Yeah, the, the the guys who are like super hard to kill, and you have, like spend ages shooting them, or you can lead them into barrels and mines and stuff. Oh, heavy replicas. Yeah, yeah, yeah Optimus Primes because they sound like Optimus Prime when they, you know, when they, you know when the uh, Transformers transform. Yeah. Yeah, they sound like that when they're coming around the corner. Hmm. If you actually, if you listen to them, they, it's not exactly yeah. similar. Hmm. Fair enough. I've just always known them as heavy replicas. Yeah, I see them as. Uh, yeah. Yep, heavy <clears throat> replicas, everyone. Copyright 2013. Foggy Gaming. Froggy HD. Gamma. That's it, Froggy Gamma HD. Yeah. 2012. Also, he holds the copyrights for www.manholes.com as well. Yeah, the copyright for www.alfiesandasshole.com. <laughs> yeah. www.zaxmum.com. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, the best website there is. Link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say a lick in the description? Yeah, everyone, <laughs> everyone has to put their face to their screen and lick the description. <laughs> I do that all the time, so... People, lick your descriptions now! <laughs> it's fine, they don't even lick the description. <laughs> the winner will receive a strawberry-flavoured screen. <laughs> <laughs> the strawberry-flavoured so, window. Why does that remind me of like the Willy Wonka film where they lick the walls and it's got different flavors? <laughs> I'd love that to have like a, a screen where like th- there's different pixels taste like different things. <laughs> oh, that would oh, be quite. You mean you mean I'm licking my screen and it doesn't actually taste of anything? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is an awkward moment. <laughs> 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 uh, you know, you know the Windows logo. Yeah. Yeah, you have like oh, different yeah. segments of the Windows logo tasting like different things. The only problem <laughs> like the, with that the is green tastes like lime, green. the orange tastes like orange, the yellow tastes like weed. I think it's red, you know. It's red. orange. <clears throat> it's, yeah. I'm looking at it right now. It's, it's the, the big it, image on the on my back uh, in the background. It looks oh, red right. to me. It looks ready orish. Ready, ready orish. Ready, yeah, ready <laughs> orish to me. It ready looks orish. like an orish. <laughs> I'm going to orish all over your Have face. Have the blue taste like mint. Mmm. Ah, uh, mint. And then Dude, each... Penis. <laughs> and then each icon on your desktop you can set to a different flavour. That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be cool. So I, have, I have Black Ops set to Strawberry. And I have oh, Left 4 Dead. I'd have FileZilla set to Cherry. I have Left 4 Dead set to, like, Apple. And then I have Modern Warfare 3. Minecraft set to Semen. Oh, what this, is where, this, is where, this, shit. This, <laughs> this is where you're just like licking your screen and your mum walks in what the fuck are you doing um, I'm tasting purple <laughs> <laughs> I love farming simulator set to me newer <laughs> oh, yeah. no you have farmly, farming simulator set to banana banana no I've, I've got my shortcut to youtube forward slash monkey riding pig backwards Banana. <laughs> oh, the subscribe the subscribe button on YouTube said it to banana. <laughs> I that to like it. like that would be kind of cool if you could, if like the uh, the person who is actually running the channel could set the flavor to that. <laughs> Just like as soon as you click it, you get like the taste in your mouth or something. Oh. Mm, this person tastes like cherries. Mm, this person tastes like apples. Mm, this person tastes like shit. <clears throat> Oh, this person tastes like gangbangs. Oh. This person tastes like sweat. Oh, yeah. Oh, the best thing oh. there is. Oh. <laughs> Give me your friend. Oh, this person tastes like vaginal juice. Oh, oh. no. Oh. Oh. I'm going to stop making that noise now. Don't worry, he doesn't even sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, he doesn't oh. even podcast. <laughs> He doesn't even have him west. <laughs> what? No, yeah, we've gone off topic again. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. have a far off topic. We were talking about World of War. Yeah, then we went on to... I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah. So, The Walking Dead. Which one? The game, game, Survival Instincts, or the series? All of them. Wait, no, no, the game isn't just Survival Instincts. There's several Walking Dead games. I oh, know, I said The Game, Survival Instincts. No. 
Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, Survival Instinct sucked. It did. I saw some gameplay of it. I thought, really? Oh, I expected so much more from that game. Yeah, I watched it in the first episode. I was like, wow. Wow, what have they done? You, I would expected so much better from that game. Yeah, Alfie, have you, have you seen the game Survival Instincts? No, I've never heard of it. No? Um, wait no. there, I'll send, you, I'll send you a link to... Do you even... I'll, I'll send you a link to the best review I know of. Okay. Let me guess. Zach, Is there a punctuation? Fill, fill in time. Fill in time and talk to talk to Alfie. Right, uh, Alfie, what is your favourite kind of anal seepage? Talk about the Walking <laughs> Dead, you donkey cunt. <laughs> oh, you didn't. You didn't say that. You just said fill in with something. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm guessing, Alfie, you don't watch the Walking Dead. No, I barely watch TV or any sort of videos. Well, you can catch up with it online. www.manhub.com <laughs> forward slash the walking dead Dane or seepage. Yeah. <laughs> forward slash the seeping dead. But yeah, I've only just recently caught up with season three. I've just, I think I finished it the other day. So what is it about? Just like zombies and stuff. It's about that, and it's about a group trying to survive. Pretty much most zombie films, anyway. But it's... I don't know there, how to describe it. It's, like, really, really good to watch. Is it's there like a really pub called done. the Winchester? Is there a what? Okay. Is there a pub called the Winchester? Yes. Mm, uh, yes, there is. Oh. Is there? Yeah, there are several. Hmm. Uh, Alfie, watch that link that I sent you, and me and Zach will start talking about that game. Six minutes! Yeah, you don't have to watch the entire thing. It just just watch the that first few minutes and you'll get a gist of the entire thing. game. Oh, definitely jizz. Okay. <laughs> I mean... Anyway, uh, Zach. Hello. Walking Dead Survival Instincts. Yep. Right. Could have been way better. Yeah, it could have been way better. Uh, some of the ideas that they had were really good. Like, um, if you've ever played like uh, the like Flash games online. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's one that's uh, that's like a zomb- zombie day fighter or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you basically, um, when the day comes to an end, you have to send your characters out, and they'll come back the next day with with items. Oh yeah, yeah. They took that idea into the Walking Dead survival instinct. I thought that was a good idea. Yeah. Taking ideas from other games and, and making them better or or changing them to fit your game. Isn't that I, the thing? Yeah, that's the thing that they done at the start of each mission, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. The start of each mission, you send them out. At the end of the mission, they come back with stuff, or they don't come back at all. Sometimes they die. Sometimes they get lost. Other things happen. Yeah. But I thought that's a good idea. Except they didn't that take it anywhere. Idea. They didn't take it anywhere. What, what what point did you have of sending them out? Because you could find all the fuel you needed. You can find all the food you need. You can find out all the ammo you need. As soon as you have three survivors, yeah. that's it. You have no reason to do the mission except for the storyline. Which I, mm. is a good idea There's for no some people. Yeah, it's a good idea for some people, but mm. it needed mm. more in there. There was, you know, there's much more to life than food, fuel, and ammo. There's like porn mags and manhub.com. Yeah, there's manhub.com and ale seepage. <laughs> and I like the idea that they had for like taking different routes to each mission. Yeah, 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 taking different routes to each mission. But when you send me down an alleyway. Yeah. You can't turn that alleyway around, send me down it the, from, the, from the other direction, and call it a different map. Nope, you can't do that. No, I, don't, I didn't appreciate that at all. I didn't, no. Also, what was it? Uh, I know... Also, the, you know the, uh, the uh, killing animation, the, uh, like, uh, when you like, sneak attack the zombies? Yeah, that's like the same thing over and over again. It's the same thing. Just, oh, exactly, over and over again. You know, I have a sledgehammer, and I could, you know, bring the sledgehammer up and then bring it down on his head nice and silently, rather than swinging it around like a madman trying to smash it in the face. There are just so many different ways you can kill I, the zombies with that weapon. I had a hammer, you know. That hammer has a nice nice big um, fork-type thing on the back of it. I could use that to, you know, slice it in the back of the head. Yeah. They're I had... just. I had a samurai sword or a machete or whatever it was, was. I could slice this zombie's head off from behind if I wanted to. But no, I had to put that samurai sword thing away, pull out a tiny knife and stab it in the back of the head. Every single time. Mm. Thing that ticks me off um, is uh, like yeah. 
um, it's not about the Walking Dead survival instincts itself. It's, it's about any any game that has silences included. A silencer uh. does not make a gun sound like a power puff toy. Nope, it does not. You have a gun that goes from being extremely loud to being mildly loud. That's hmm. what a silencer does. A silencer doesn't make it so the loudest thing you can hear is the hammer hitting the bullet. Or making the gun go... Pitting, 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 pitting. <clears throat> that makes it go from bang to bang. Hmm. Anyway, survival instincts. Survival instincts. It really could have been so much better, I think. The graphic quality as well. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, s- I noticed that when when it goes from gameplay into like a cutscene, the graphics are so much better in the cutscene than in the game. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta love those pre-renders, right? Hmm. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah, like oh. uh, talking of that, when when you're when you're playing, yeah, mm-hmm. if you look at a cash machine, yeah, yeah, the cash machine looks like the it looks like a an eight bit game. The, mm-hmm. the the cash machine alone just looks like an eight bit game, and then when you look at a wall, it looks like they've textured the wall in their own shit. <laughs> right, how should we texture this wall? I know, rub our shit on it. Alfie, have you have you seen have you seen the bit of the video now? Yeah, I've seen a bit of it. Yeah. Yeah. What did you think? Um, yeah, the all the all the sneak attacks were the same. Um, there there seemed to be lots of things you could pick up that weren't really needed often. Mm. Like energy drinks, you seem to pick up a lot of energy drinks. No, and you didn't they, really need them. I mean, to, like, it it looks health. like a triple A title from five years ago. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, I imagine that game came out, like, after the first Far Cry, that sort of thing. Yeah, but it, it, looks like, it looks graphics. like a game, like, uh, textured after the first, call, like, Call of Duty 4. Yeah. That sort of mean. graphics. Yeah. yeah. Which were quite good. I mean, I, thought. I mean, I guess they probably, they didn't really need to go Skyrim graphics, but yeah, they it didn't. could have been a bit better. Yeah. Black Ops 2 has better graphics than that. And Black Ops 2 yeah. uses very, very low quality 720, uh, 720 uh, textures. Wikipedia right here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's not funny. Uh, yeah, it, it just pisses me off. When, you know, it's Activision's fault. When is it not Activision's fault? <laughs> uh, it, it is Activision's fault for, for forcing them to bring out the game in, in a few months where they would have spent years on it. It would have been better if they really did yeah. spend their own time, uh, their own I think, pace. Yeah, I think Activision gave them like six months to pull out the game. Bastards! So, so they, they literally ended up pulling out out of their ass. It probably wasn't even oh. like a quarter of the have game ever, they Have you ever tried to type and or use a mouse with your ass? It's not easy. <laughs> that would actually be some talent. How did you make this game with my ass? <laughs> I had to buy many, many new keyboard and mouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, many a keyboard were covered in brown <laughs> stuff. You don't, you don't want to know where I had to put my headset. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was it? The oh. other Walking Dead game was way better. That's why all the game sounds sound like. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, the other Walking Dead game was better than that, and only played the first step. Yeah, yeah, the Telltale game. They're bringing out season two. Yeah. They confirmed it. Have they? Yeah, they they're gonna bring out season two. I haven't even. I've only played episode one of season one. Yeah, you should really play the rest of the episodes. It's a really good storyline. Some bits I don't make sense. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah. With what money can I buy them? <laughs> Well, you know, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be redoing the uh, walkthrough I was doing on them because I love the Walking Dead. I really enjoyed my walkthrough on it. So I'll yeah. be redoing my walkthrough on this new channel, and you can follow that. So yeah, You're that's why we're on Twitter. Catch up games, just watching YouTubers play it. Because mm. everyone, when it came out, everyone just played it. I thought, Jesus Christ. Well, I've got I've got some more Bioshock I can I can now render out. So hey, Bioshock. 
Because I, I really? uploaded my last episode that I had on my hard drive, so I was like, yeah, I probably should record more. Yeah, we need to play more Bioshock together as well. Mm. Since I've rendered all the bits for you. And Alfie. Yeah. We need to play some Manhub together. <laughs> oh. I'm so already playing Manhub. Manhub.com forward slash Alfie and me. If, it, if any admins from Manhub.com are watching we're, and you want a sponsor... Oh, no, you, you, <laughs> can, you can give us a sponsor. We'll happily mention you in all our videos. Um, <laughs> we'll do it anyway. <laughs> it's gonna be a we'll running. Talk about your, we'll talk about all your high quality seepage and anal prolapse. www.pornhub.com forward yep. slash anal seepage. Yeah. Use the no, pro, use the use the discount code seepage ten for ten percent <laughs> off your next download. <laughs> 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 and before you start commenting, thank you, Alfie. You're fucking genius. You're very welcome. <laughs> Just clear that one up. Oh, yeah. you use the use the use that code seepage ten for your next purchase <laughs> <laughs> of anal of anal toys. Of anal toys, yeah, that's it. Ten percent off any butt plugs and fifteen percent off KY jelly. Each each of them have Alfie's face printed. Twelve percent off of anal seepage. <laughs> yeah, a, in a replica bile jar from Left 4 Dead 2 that you can throw at your friends. <laughs> All with Alfie's face on it. Oh, Get him now at manhub.com. Yep. Don't forget the product. The um, discount code is seepage ten. <laughs> Buy within the next six weeks. And you get a free picture of Alfie's face. <laughs> Don't worry, though. It's completely seep protected. <laughs> Up to 100 metres. But order seepage right now, free. and Alfie will come and visit 100 you for... 100 metres of anal seepage. Jesus, that's a lot of anal seepage. Yeah. <laughs> that's I, more I like anal might... butt flow. <laughs> <laughs> Pre-order now, and Alfie will send you his own seepage. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll film my... Pre-order within the next six hours, you get a film of anal seepage falling out of Alfie's ass. <laughs> I'm going to put chocolate milk up my ass and spray it all over you, you guys' faces and film it. <laughs> oh, that's, we'll, this, is, we'll this a... is getting sicker and sicker and sicker by the second, so I'm going to change <laughs> we'll a... the subject and go I on to say... Dead, <laughs> Dead Rising. <laughs> we'll, we'll have a competition, and whoever wins gets the video of me doing that. Dead but Rising. Yeah, Dead on. Rising. Come on, come on, Dead Rising. Dead Let's rising. go this. Dead Rising. I never finished the first game. But... Neither did I. Do you know how much of the first game I played? How much? The first mission. <laughs> I've I had think... that game for since it came out. Yeah. To now, and I still have the game. And I am still yet to make a save past the first mission. I think I got up to like the fifth mission, then I couldn't be bothered. Yeah, and then, I, I got you know the first mission where you're like uh, inside the the mall, the mall, yeah. and you're killing loads and loads of zombies because that bitch let him in to save her dog. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, like... I I kept trying to find creative ways to kill them in that in that mission, and I, I never I never actually bothered to move on. <laughs> I mean, Dead Rising Two was good, like the way you can like make weapons from with other weapons. And never all played that. Dead Rising Two. It's the, quite the cool. online is quite good as well, I yeah. reckon. There's yeah. like... Well, you two talk about Dead Rising 2, and I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Okie dokie, yeah, pretty much. Would, would, you, would you like to know what Dead Rising is in Japanese? Uh, what is it? Deado Rianju. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I like it. I like it how the female zombies in Dead Rising 2 always go for your dick. Yeah, that is kind of weird, um, mm. but I'm not complaining, to be fair. <laughs> and then um oh what was it they done this thing where it's Dead Rising 2 again the same sort of storyline but instead of Chuck Green it's Frank West from the first game Oh right and then yeah, didn't so, they do um uh, an add-on disc as well Uh I think they did I think they done like Case West I think Yeah it could have been something like that yeah I think it was Case West I'm not sure 100% So I haven't played it too much because um in my opinion, it's a little bit pointless. Yeah. Because it's just like you got a timer, and when your timer runs out, then it's game over. Pretty much. Thing. I mean, it's fun if you've got like, someone else to play it with you, and then you're just fucking around 
killing zombies and doing missions, but on your own, it's just, ugh, really? Do I have to? Yeah. But the online is alright when you get like the chainsaws on the on the bikes. Yeah, that was quite cool. That's pretty fun. I think I must have spent half my time trying to kill the other team. <laughs> <laughs> then trying to kill the zombies. <laughs> and then the other or... ones, what is it? You like hit the you hit the pressure pad and you have to fling the zombies or something. Yeah. I can't really remember. It's been a long time since I played it. That's that pretty much the opening to Dead Rising off the record, the one with Frank West. You're oh, yeah, in a that's mass... it, off the record, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. You're in a suit, like, I think it's a wrestling suit, and you just haven't been forced to wrestle zombies. Oh, quite... yeah, I remember, yeah. And Chuck Green's in there, he's an alcoholic drunk, but if player two comes along, he's Chuck Green. <laughs> it's quite cool. It's pretty cool, yeah. I haven't and played the front... first one, though. I've played ten minutes of it, and then I got bored of it. It was fun, but got boring really easy, if you know. Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Hmm. A bit like the second one, but there's more to do in the second one. Yeah, and if you've got a like friend with it, it's even more fun. Like mixing the drinks and Pukin. making the combo weapons and all that, yeah. I just loved that running around. I'm, me and Chris must have spent half the time in that game running around in mankinis. Oh dear. And military boots. <laughs> yeah, because you can change the costumes, can't you? Yeah, I'm. I spent half my time running around in mankini, army boots, and pink hair, just oh. because I could. <laughs> and then there was a the thing. That... I'm going to skip straight to where I left and find out what the hell you said. I think there was like um, in Dead Rising Two, like if you had like all the DLC costumes, if you put like yeah. each of the costume, you get like the pow, you get like the perk that comes with it. Like the military, you get more ammo in your guns. I think they do more damage as well. Right. And Chris used to put each part of different costumes on him, and he became like God. It's quite funny. Right. <laughs> so he was just running around in every single costume, just running through the zombie apocalypse. But yeah. Running through the zombies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my With god! A two-stroke had... chainsaw. <laughs> Mowing them down as I walk through Vegas. I think Dead Rising 2 is in Vegas. Is Dead Rising 2 set in Vegas? I don't know. I it's think in a Vegas like place. Well, it's yeah. set in, in a casino, and there's like a Super Bowl type place as well. And Yeah, it's close to Vegas, I'm guessing. I'd take it as Vegas, I would. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would. <laughs> what, you oh, take yeah. it up your Vegas? <laughs> Don't worry, he doesn't even Vegas. <laughs> That's a good game, Rainbow Six Vegas 2 as well. What's a good game, sorry? Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Talking of Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Am I the only one who doesn't know who she was? Yes. Oh, really? I've never heard of her until people started saying. Am I the only person in the world who doesn't she was know the her? Apparently first one of the female. most iconic females of British history. But I disagree. It shows how much I pay attention to there history. There are many, many, many women that were iconic and were British and were like, better than her. Like whoever sucks my dick will go down in history. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that book's like zero. <laughs> you can find my address in the description, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, when you go there, there'll be anal seepage on the doorstep waiting yeah. for you. Just like a, a paper bag, a flaming paper bag with anal seepage inside. <laughs> You'll say, is that poop? And then someone will pop out of the bush. No, it's anal seepage and then go back inside it. <laughs> I was, that reminds me of that South Park bit where they're like spying on that kid. Oh, where a yeah. spying on that kid and the dad comes out and he's like, okay, who's out here? I know you're out here and all the guys in the town just run out from the bushes. Yeah. I see you out there, and then they're like, oh no, run. <laughs> so funny, South Park. Follow the only road. <laughs> follow, follow the only road. road. Oh yeah, you've gone... Oh yeah, you followed the only road, alright? You went the wrong way on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh when, when he's... um, When the Guitar Hero pissed take of it, and then the kid's, <laughs> sit, the kid's sitting there um, air-guitaring on the... 
on the guitar controller. And yeah. people were turning around like, oh my god, I love this song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Fuck you, Dolphin and Whale. <laughs> Fuck you, Dolphin. Fuck you, Whale. I like that episode. Oh no, Razor Stereotyper. Yeah. At least my mum's not on the cover of Crack Horror Magazine. Hey, stop saying that. Hey, Carmen, look. True. The hey, Jews look. aren't dying out. They're getting stronger. <laughs> Why does everyone say my mum's on the cover of Crack Horror Magazine? <laughs> Hey, Carmen, look, it's your mum on cr- cover of Crack or What? <laughs> oh, when Carmen finds out that his It doesn't dad's matter who we are. What matters is our plan. And you should have respected Mahasarate. Uh, no. How about that for an answer? Aww. So you can suck Alfie's anal seat pitch. How would, how would you like to suck my balls, Mr. Garrison? <gasps> what did you say? Uh, what I said was, how would you like to suck my balls, Miss Garrison? <laughs> Holy Present shit, them. dude. Excuse me. Present them. All okay. right, I'll be around in a minute. Oh, yeah. look, hi, Zach. Hi, how you doing? Here's my seepage. How would you like to suck my seepage, Mr. Garrison? Yeah, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> we, how do we keep on getting back onto seepage? I don't know. This is all because it just, old. you know, it's the Zombles podcast, number one place for seepage. <laughs> and manhop.com. And manhop.com. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh my god. I want you to man all over my hub. <laughs> oh, don't worry, he doesn't even hub. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, another topic before we carry on with man yeah. hub. Okay, so, Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm not in the semi right now, Doug. After Alfie. You said that. Alfie. Come on, what are, you, what are your thoughts on it? Um, well. I know she was the only female, wherever she was. Prime Minister. <laughs> no, yeah, Prime Minister, that's it. Oh, that's but, a... um, but she's like, I don't know, I'm, I don't want to be sexist now. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw down what exactly happened, right? She got into a position of power when <laughs> Britain was at its weakest. Our industry was dying... Uh, we were filling up with huge amounts of other races and other people and from other com- <laughs> position of power. Lol. <laughs> yeah, sorry, what? Yeah, other yeah. races. Anyway, you know, other other races, other cultures, other countries. They were coming in, so we were we were losing our singular identity as Britain. And what's new? <laughs> yeah, we've already lost that, Doug. It's too late now. <laughs> That's the point. That's the point. Okay, but anyway. We, we were losing ourselves, okay? And we were losing badly, and we were going to end up in a position that, say, I, I don't know, is, is Greece dying now? I think the film so, or the country? The Euro. No, no, it, like, um, they, they were going to kick them out of the Euro, <laughs> the European Union, wouldn't they? I think yeah, so, yeah. Because weren't they yeah. going so much in debt? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, um, we were going to end up like that. What Margaret Thatcher did was she took all of the public sector businesses, like trains... Yeah. Is Alfie right now? Uh, he can't find his penis. They're so greasy. Okay. Um, yeah. Is she, she took the uh, you know the trains, the buses, uh, water, electricity, gas. Yeah. And she sold them to the private sector. Hmm. Alfie, stop <laughs> typing shit. <laughs> Stupid train. If you're gonna do something, say it. Sorry, right. <laughs> Ah, oh, okay. Um, yeah, but she took all those and she sold them to the private sector. Right. <laughs> She's the reason that your electric bill is incredibly high, your gas bill is incredibly high, and your water bill is incredibly high. And she is also I... the reason that your water bill now consists of any building that was built after the year 2000 and something or other. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> but 
she's the reason that they now put um, counters on the water lines that count how much water your your building actually uses, and which causes your water bill to go even higher. I'm on a meter for everything, so it's not too bad for me. Sorry. Exactly. Meters. Meters send you through the roof. They they make it so you can't live the uh, the lifestyle that you used to be living. True, but um, at the same time, you only pay for what you use instead of having a fixed bill. Yeah, that and is, if you don't that is use true. As much, but yeah. if if you were using more, then th- th- it causes it causes it to go up. As for me, that's fine on water. I don't use that much water. I end up buying more water from the shop anyway. The only water <laughs> I do use is to wash. Yeah, true. That's about it. I don't even drink water. I'm just all cocoholic. I, I drink a lot of water, but I I don't drink tap water. I don't well, like it. My na- I don't know, it tastes different. My, my name is Bear Grylls, and I piss for a sock and then drink my filtered piss. <laughs> 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 and then I squeeze the water out of elephant shit. <laughs> ah. He, he you, actually you, done you that. Dig out camel st- camel stomachs and then start dripping the water That's out of it. it. Yeah, my my favourite part of the camel is their toe. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that huge camel toe. Oh, oh God! Brings me on to my next subject, Batman. <laughs> Does it? Why Batman. did that bring you on to your next subject? Oh, camel toes. That reminds me. Our next subject is. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of camel toes. <laughs> yeah, speaking of camel toes. How is Batman even related to camel toes? Well, have you seen his camel toe? <laughs> I've seen his mangina, yes. <laughs> Adam West, that's the reason. Uh, maybe that's why he stopped oh. wearing that gimp suit. <laughs> he doesn't even Adam West. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't. All right, then, Batman. Oh, Batman. My f- favourite Batman. Adam West. Adam West. Have you ever punched Adam someone West. so hard that a giant pow appeared? A pow. Yeah. He, had a, he had a fight with a plastic shark. He must have felt like a right dick doing that. Yeah. On the bat ladder. <laughs> yeah, oh no, more. the helicopter's going down. Let's land it perfectly. <laughs> and then let's explode it. And then, what is it? Oh. Running along a hub, like one of those pier harbour thingies with a giant bomb in his hand? <laughs> well, running up and down it, trying to find a place to put it. And he has, he has a grappling hook gun. Yeah, yeah. He, he climbs up an entire building with suction cups. <laughs> yeah. Holy bat syllables, Batman. <laughs> <coughs> oh, but... All right, what is who was the best? I mean, your favorite Batman villain? You know uh... the Joker from The Dark Knight. Yeah, him. Him. Him, definitely. Heath uh... Ledger, Joker. Heath Ledger. I'm gonna say the Riddler from the '60s series with Adam West. <laughs> it was good too. A riddle oh, me it? this, Batman. Oh, was it? There was a Batman movie where Jim Carrey was the Riddler. Oh, really? Yeah. Can't remember what it was called though. Was it but... called Batman the Movie? No, it's not Batman the was Movie. Was it called www.manhub.com forward slash Batman? It. <laughs> Batman. That oh, was how it. Did you forget that. Oh my god. I'm so stupid. But yeah, it was where Jim Carrey was the Riddler and. I think it was Two Face and the Riddler were working together. It was quite a cool movie. I still, I, st- I still think that uh, Keith, Keith, was it Keith Ledger? Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. Yeah. He was the best Joker so far. No, ever. Yeah. Wrecked myself. I'm like a dog chasing cars. I just do things. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, you want to watch this pencil disappear? Oh, yeah. Well, bang! Oh, Da-da. yeah, that's a good bit, yeah. Oh. Good movie. Oh, no, what was it? Uh, do you like magic tricks? Oh, uh, yeah, I can make this pencil disappear. Yeah, bang! ta I was, you know, the, I was amazed when I found out that the person who played Commissioner Gordon, I think it's him, was the same voice of Reznov. It was? Like, he voiced Reznov, I think it was. I think it's him. I'll look it up now. To confirm it. Damn right you will. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If I didn't have slow internet, thank you, Google. You finally loaded. 
You're welcome. Uh, right. So, who made the best Robin? Uh, I'm always you... Robin. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I... he doesn't even Robin. I can never remember the actors who played Robin. Um, you know, Robin, um, last name Banks. I've heard he's got quite a lot of money. Who? Yeah, Robin Banks. Yeah, the person who played um, Commissioner Gordon, Gary Oldman, is Reznov. Hmm, interesting. <coughs> anyway, I think the best Robin was the uh, the latest one, because he was the only one that's actually respectable. Oh, the one from The Dark Knight Rises? Yeah. Yeah, he was quite good. He's the only one that I find is respectable. Isn't he going to be the next Batman, apparently? I hope not. Because that's what I heard somewhere, that he's going to be the next Batman. I oh, know, I could be wrong. No one will be Adam West. <laughs> no, 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 no. new Batman movie and Adam West Batman. <laughs> well, they make like that. With shark repellent and explosion <laughs> spray. Well, is oh. it, yeah, oceanic, re- oceanic repellent or something. Yeah. <laughs> Did it, makes the shark, it makes the shark repel and then it explodes. <laughs> Did anyone else watch the Batman cartoon where it was like Batman in the future? No, you told me this before, but I didn't. Alfie, have you ever seen it? No, I can't say I have, to be honest. Oh, it was a really good cartoon. I enjoyed it. Where okay, question. Angry old man. Okay, go for it. Favourite Avenger? My anus. <laughs> uh, from the movie, Avengers. Um, any... Okay, okay, let me broaden the question. Favourite Marvel character? The oh, that's, that's, that's way too broad. That's way too broad. Way too broad. Go, go back to Avengers, my favourite Avenger, because there's only, f- uh, what, four or five of them? I think so, yeah. I'd say there's, Thor, got I- there's Thor, Iron Man, Black Thor, Widow, Thor. Iron Man, Hulk, and Hawkeye. There's five. Right, oh, no, America. wait a minute, wait a minute. Captain America, six. I have to say the Hulk, then, out of the Avengers. I like Isn't it. Luke Cage in the Avengers? If I was to go through all of them, you know, okay. Iron Man, I like him because of his uh, his. I, I like him not because of his character, but because of the uh, the actual guy who plays him. Oh, ah, oh, I forget his name. The really really cocky actor. I, I like yeah. it, I like his attitude. I like the way he you know puts across the fact that he's a, a pig ignorant guy who just doesn't care. Yeah, I, I mean, like that well, about him. Uh, yeah, the actor is really good who yeah. plays. Iron Man. Uh, I, I like Captain America because of his character, not because of the actor. I think they could find a better actor. Hmm. If they <laughs> looked hard enough, they could. But um, I like him because of his character. I like the American um, Captain America um, comic books. Because he's patri- yeah. patriotic. His patriotism works, but it's not the way I like. It's not the reason I like him. I like him because he's a soldier. Because he's because he's 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 always got that mindset. But he's he's also old. He's got that history behind him. He he, he does everything in the old ways, not the new yeah. ways. You know, he's he's got that that age working for him rather yeah, than against I, him. I know what you mean. Yeah, he has the knowledge. I like of war the Hulk well. because he's number one, a badass, super strong, <laughs> and the actor who plays the new one. Is brilliant. I love yeah. the new Hulk. Yeah. I mean, in every Hulk movie, they change the Black character Widow, each time. I don't like. I don't like the Black Widow. I've never liked Black Widow, to yeah. be honest. I I didn't like her in whatever. I can't even remember a comic book she was in. That's how much I don't remember her. I don't like her. Uh, I think Black Widow's been in Spider Man, the Punisher comics. Yeah, I I can't remember. I don't know. I'll look it up. But Hawkeye's pretty good. Hawkeye's I love Hawkeye. Cool. Yeah, he, I he's, love he's got America. the fact that he's not a superhero working for him. He's only a he's only like a super spy, and the yeah. fact that he has that bow and arrow, it makes him unique. Yeah, I like um, I like the fact that I um, the relation that Iron Man has. You know, he's um, Stark's son. I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. uh, Black Widow's also appeared in the. Captain America comics, uh, Avengers comics, Punisher, Iron Man, X Men, all that Marvel character comics, really. Yeah, she still ain't that good. Nope, never liked that character. 
Uh, so I think my so scope just died. The question, <laughs> the question is, what one's my favourite? Yeah. Um, all in all, I think I'm going to have to go with the Hulk. Hey, two for the Hulk. <laughs> Cause I've got to say Hawkeye, to be honest. Yeah. Hawkeye was pretty Hawkeye's good. Hawkeye's got way. a lot of things going for him, but yeah. the Hulk is he's he's not a tame animal. He's he's got his own personality as the Hulk, as well as his having his personality as the scientist, but he's also got the mixture of both personalities. And he's also got the fact that he's, you know he's killable. But how, no one knows yet. No he one knows kill. how to kill him. What's the what's the name of Hulk's son, isn't it? Scar? Uh, Hulk Something has a like son. That. Hulk has yeah, in in one of the comic books, um, his he gets sent away because he's too dangerous to remain on Earth. Back to and, Google. Uh, <laughs> I I have I haven't read the any of the book any of the comic books with the Hulk in it. I've only ever seen him in the in the movies. It should hmm. be called like Scar Planet or something, something like that. It's been a while since I read it. Uh, Planet Hulk apparently. Oh, oh yeah, they, yes. oh, there you go, Planet Hulk. <laughs> oh, that's got to be you know the the King Kong Island. No, oh, yeah, King Kong was an alright movie. Uh, you're on about the the movie with um. What's I'm on name? about the the original. You're on about the original. Yeah, it was an alright right movie. Right one. Yeah. I think the producers of King Kong went absolutely bananas. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the original was all right. The the latest one with Jack Black in it was bad. You you thought so? I didn't think so. I thought it was all right. I just thought it was bad. I didn't like the you ending some... of it, but I, no. I like I like the parts with Jack Black in it really. <laughs> yeah, that was the only part of the movie I enjoyed were Jack Black in it, and then the rest of it I just thought, ah, oh, this is bad. Speaking of Jack Black, what about Shallow How? What a fucking movie. Oh, that was a great movie. <laughs> Sorry, what movie was that? Shallow, Shallow How. Never seen it. You've oh, got to watch it. You've got to watch it. It's, it's so funny. good. It's, um, Jack Black gets caught in this elevator with this guy who puts like a spell on him where he sees the inner beauty of women. Yeah. Shallow How. Yeah. Yeah. And he ends up dating this woman. Type it in Skype. Pretty much. To him, he's he sees like this beautiful woman, right? To him, yeah. To everyone else, she's ugly. Yeah, but we won't ruin uh, it for you. That's why I got it wrong. I I seen shallow how. <laughs> but yeah, it was it a you, brilliant mate. movie. It's a really good movie. <laughs> All right, then yeah. what's your favorite Jack Black movie? <laughs> oh, the Pick, the Pick of Destiny. Destiny. Oh, yes. Yeah. I have to say it's the Pick of Destiny and Shallow Hell for me. Those two were just really good. We got the pick of <laughs> destination. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright then. I like how uh, they end up with the, uh, the the bong of destiny. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I remember watching this Tenacious D music video where they're just caressing fruit. They're just like feeling up fruit and licking it. It's not low-hanging fruit, is it, on their new album? Uh, I think that, it is. That, that was just you. You were licking low-hanging fruit thinking you were the pick of destiny. <sighs> no, yeah, my dreams. You can, you can find that on manhub.com. <laughs> and, then, and then you realised no, no you, you weren't the, the pick of destiny and it was anal seepage you were licking. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my god. We've got to stop going back to <laughs> Yeah, we got to stop going to Manhub and anal seepage. It's not good. <laughs> oh, they're going to be like, no, we don't want to be part of this. <laughs> so, Too bad sorry, it's half the podcast. Sorry to any viewers that are are offended by this big mess of anal seepage, but tough shit. Which brings <laughs> me to my next point. Which, well, it isn't a tough shit. <laughs> Bioshock Infinite. I've not played. Want- I want to play it. I've seen loads of people play it. It looks brilliant, but I don't have the money. You've seen my videos? Yep. Yeah, you've seen my videos. How for you? You've seen my videos? No, I haven't. Oh. But I've I remember some of the first re- um some of the first releases of videos for it. 
and um, yeah. it looked like there was a lot of frame rate drop and lag. But I guess because it was early in development, I guess that happens. Yeah, I'm, I do you think find that. Do you find that um, you get any lag now when you play? Or well, I get lag just simply because my computer is not the best standard that they are looking for. They, they, when they when they develop their, you know, when they developed Bioshock Infinite, they're developing it for the current medium computer. Yeah. And my my computer is like three generations ago medium computer. Uh, do you want to talk about mine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like twenty million centuries ago, Zach. Fucking single core processor right here. Hang on. Don't don't forget to feed the hamster that's running about in the wheel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh Zach, wait a minute, that may be where your Skype died earlier. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. I think you can get an upgrade where it's a little coal coal furnace. <laughs> you put you put chunks of coal in it. <laughs> I'll look into that. Might be a nice upgrade. Yeah, from the hamster running the, in the, the way the way you make it is you have to get some wood and then you have to put it in a four by f- a two by two square to get crafting table <laughs> and you put the crafting table down and then you put <laughs> an outline of with cobblestone and then you get a furnace now what you do is you take some crab apples you mix them up in, inside a big inside a big vat once you once you've turned them into gloop you add some urine to them and then you feed them to people well, and then they give you the computer. My ass is a big vat. <laughs> <laughs> You're a big vat. Uh, I've got to stop doing that. Nicest thing. You're the nicest thing anyone's it. ever said to me, uh, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I am. I am going? Batman. <laughs> How long have we been going now? Uh, about an hour. Jesus. An Christ. hour. Oh, Jesus. Batman. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> oh, the, 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 instead of a giant bat symbol in the sky, it's a giant hole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just like when you do the vat signal, it's basically there's nothing there because it's just black light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, We're calling great. to you. No, you're not. Yes, we are. No, you're not. Yes, we are. No, you're not. You put a light in the sky. That means you're not calling me. <laughs> Or you just get a cannon and put loads of seepage in it and just spray it all over the city. <laughs> Why have I got a mental image of Alfie doing that now? <laughs> because that's Don't know, that's weird. We do. Oh, what did you do today? I sprayed seepage all over my city. Well, we're go- me and Zach are going to make a little flash video of it and then we're going to upload it to manhub.com. <laughs> www.manhub.com <laughs> 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 forward slash spraying seepage over you my can, town doc you can buy it for 99p or there's a um a discount code of fatman 10 and you get a hundred percent off your next purchase <laughs> oh that's a pretty good percentage <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. that's fatman 10 fatman 10 percent don't worry our our company is set up in luxembourg like um amazon so we don't have to pay any tax. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, use Batman 10 to get it tax free. Yeah. I need to take a massive anal seepage dump right now, but I can't be asked to go because we're doing oh. this. Oh. Oh. I w- I on to we my need... next topic. <laughs> well, what we need to do is we need to do a giveaway of about five buckets for all the viewers. Because Every time that's, we about, say that's about as many we're going to get is about five. <laughs> but they need buckets because next episode, I reckon it will just be back to seepage again and they're going to need <laughs> somewhere to puke. <laughs> 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 so, Doug, uh, what do you think about my gaping anus? <laughs> <laughs> that brings Doug to his next topic. <laughs> yeah, that brings Doug to his next topic. <laughs> Ain't no seepage from the sky. <laughs> bucket, bucket vaginas. Oh, oh dude. It's like throwing a sausage round in a drain pipe. So, <laughs> what did you think of that period juice I served you last night for dinner? Oh. <laughs> oh. Nice. No, oh. New topic, please. Oh, yeah, please. Okay, new topic. 
New topic, new topic. Left for Dead is the next. We've already talked a little bit about it, but I guess we can. Favorite specially infected. Ooh. The hunter, because he twists your nipples. Yeah, he yeah, feels up your nipples big time. On my That's screen, his skin does Hitler, so it's just Hitler <laughs> jumping up. Skin <laughs> <laughs> raped by Hitler. So I'm um, gonna get my nipples twisted by Hitler. Yeah, you should you, you read redo the audio as well, so you got Hitler saying "Danke schön, Danke schön, Danke schön" every uh, time he, he rips your nipples he, open. He says things in German, but obviously I don't understand it because it's German. <laughs> Uh, could you could you mimic what he says? No, because it's German. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna I wanna edit the audio file so he goes nine 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 nine. So he's sitting on top of me, twisting my nipples, going nine nine nine. <laughs> oh Actually, when when he's jumping around, he should be going nine. When he's on top of you, he should be going yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although I have to say my favourite infected now that I've modded it is the charger just shouting CHOCOLATE! Did you oh, yes. say chocolate? <laughs> oh, yes. That's what oh, I hear. No, the tank with the Space Jam theme. Oh yeah. <laughs> ah, this, the trouble with that is that I couldn't do that because Space Jam is copyrighted, right? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I couldn't do that because I do videos of Left Dead 2, and if I upload Space Jam music, I'm going to get copyright strike. Ha! I've got a, a good idea for a smoker skin. Yeah. Because because he's got a long tongue, um, what we can do is we could skin him as um, whatever the guy's name is. Hang on, I remember what his name is in a minute. The yeah, that's, that's a lot of use. The guy, the guy from, from Kiss. Kiss. I don't know, my one's um, Herbert the Pervert. <laughs> oh, <laughs> would you look at you? <laughs> I can't think what the fuck his name is. Gene Simmons? That's it, yeah, yeah, Gene Simmons. Because he's got the really long tongue, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, a family guy took the piss out of him. Standing yeah, in, that's... standing in the um, garage, and then he just, like, his tongue rolls out, and it's Lewis in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't know you were here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, was someone should make a reskin for the hunter as Batman because we call him Batman all the yeah, time. That's true. That's yeah, true. and when he's on top of you, ripping you to pieces, a Batman theme tune. <laughs> yeah. Batman. No, 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 nipple twisting machine. When he when he kills you, he goes Adam West. Yeah, it put. Or you should not change the hunter file so it's called Adam West. So it says your name killed Adam West. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What is he jumping around? He goes, Adam West. Adam uh, West. You no, know that, no, that song in Family Guy where he goes, Adam West, Adam West. Just have that song playing. <laughs> oh. 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 You know what, bugger it, I'm going for my shit. Just thought I'd let people know, so I'm going to take my massive dump. Fair enough. <laughs> I shall be back. <laughs> okay, yeah, make as much noise as you can when you put down your headset. That's nice. Yeah, so let's let's, let's talk about um, the possibilities of a Left 4 Dead 3. <clears throat> really? I feel that there won't be because, in my opinion, Left 4 Dead 1 was good um it had some good campaigns but then left for dead 2 was just an improvement on left for dead the first one it better ais yeah and just a few new maps and I've, different I felt when I, when I joined into left for dead 2 i felt like it was just a, like a dlc fixing left for dead 1 yeah pretty much it was literally like a patch hmm. that's what it felt like but yeah. I don't personally know, i wouldn't want a left for dead 3 i would want them to do something different or if they did do more left for dead give us like um more maps, I guess. Maybe. Well, I, I'm not so bothered about the maps. It's it's the rest of the content that I, I'm looking for. Um, as far as maps go, there's a lot of custom maps that are to the to the um, what would you call it? Standard of of yeah, developers. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Because a lot of people take a lot of pride in their maps that they build, and they end up I... doing it to really high standards. 
I think there needs to be a bigger selection of weapons as well. Yes, yes. You know, going from yes, 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 yes. Don't jizz your pants. <laughs> tier 1, tier 2 <laughs> is not enough. No, it isn't. I thought there was a tier 3, but obviously not. Um, no, it's, uh, there's... Yeah, there is a tier 3. Tier 3, M60 and uh, Grenade Launcher, I think it's in tier Yeah, three. I guess so, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, having like two weapons in each tier is not enough. Or, if they did make a Left 4 Dead 3, give us the option of a uh, ADS. No, 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 no. No? I don't know. I mean, there was I... only one game where Valve made ADS and it was horrible. Really? They're really bad at making ADS. What what game was it? Do you know? I can't remember. But I, I don't like ADS anyway, and it gives it a sort of, it gives it a feeling of its own game. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. In fact, yeah. it's not ADS. It's not trying to copy anyone else. It's, it doesn't feel like another game. But like, you know, like Killing Floor. You can ADS, but it doesn't feel like it's too much affected. You just get a more, like a more accurate shot, because even if you do hip fire, it's still like sort of the same accuracy level, anyways. Yeah, all you need to do is center range. That was a pretty fast shit. <clears throat> Indeed, I did, power shit. Yeah, did it? Did it just slip out? <laughs> yep. <sighs> was it like anal like, seepage? Oh yeah, I seepaged all over my toilet. <laughs> Are you eating it now? <laughs> no, this is bread with chocolate bits in. <laughs> oh. oh no. He took his seepage and then he, he, like, he cooked bread in the time that he was gone and he cooked yeah. the seepage into his bread. Yeah. Best type of bread there is. Seepage bread, www.manoftoxic.com. <laughs> <laughs> bread. Anyway, what were you guys talking about? Killing Floor? Yeah. Yeah, we was talking about Left 4 Dead and um, how ADS would be a bad idea, so... Yeah, I think it would because the guns are accurate anyway. And I think well, building, you know, they let you go into third person anyway, and you can actually get achievements while in third person. So yeah. third person's not not something they don't want you to do. They don't really care if you play third person or first person. They just think it's personal preference, which yeah. is true. It's right. You know, you don't play any better in third person. You don't play any worse. Well, depending on who you are. Hmm. But I think they should build it into the game and have a button on the keyboard for it. I've got that, well, from the mod thing. But you've thing got I... a mod to do it. Yeah. I'm saying they need to have it built straight into the game. Oh, yeah, it's a yeah. proper button. Since sometimes I switch between the two, because it's, it's fun. Yeah, because it's fun. Changes, changes up the game a bit. Mm -hmm. Change it up. Change it up. Another thing, Valve, don't, make Half-Life Episode 3 already. Episode 3. I wonder why. I wonder why they're stalling now. Because like, for a long time, I feel that that joke has disappeared. Oh no, it hasn't. No. No, I'm really? just talking to less people. Yeah. <laughs> people are still waiting. Yeah, because I've just given up waiting for it. I've given up looking for it. I. I don't care anymore. If they want to bring it out, they can. I'm just not going to follow it, whether they want to or they don't. And if they do bring it out, I'm probably not going to be watching it. So I'm probably going to find out like months and months and months later. <laughs> you know, did you know episode three is out? Or probably, you know, what will happen is I'll look at my YouTube page and episode three will just be co copied and pasted <laughs> 5,000 times on 6,000 different channels. Yeah. That's pretty much how it will go. Yeah, and that number works out, by the way, if you think about it. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So, Far Cry. Far Cry. Yeah. Never played. I've Far played all the Far Crys. Yeah, I, I haven't played Far Cry 1 or 2. Uh, there was a PC version which was really, really good, like the original Far Cry. Yeah. That's what I played I've that. got, but I've not played it. I've played Far Cry Instincts and Predator, which were pretty much the same game in a way. What were they? Uh, it was pretty much a remake of the original Far Cry. It's Jack Carver yeah. on the island, but he gets like these instinct powers where he becomes like a hunting predator by himself. Yeah. Pretty much he can jump really high, regenerate health, punch people to kill them, see in the dark, see people's body heat, sense their smell, stuff like that. Right. He pretty much becomes like 
a, the ultimate predator. I see. And people realise, oh fuck, we fucked up, we better kill him. <laughs> and then other experiments escape and shit gets real. And that was Instinct? Yeah. What was Predator then? It was pretty much like a sequel to Instincts, but it was really bad. Oh, right, okay. It's based on Jack Carver again, but he's got laid with this woman, and this woman's a pirate. <laughs> and then he ends up in like a pirate massive siege. pirate war, pretty much. And then Far Cry 2 came out, which was quite cool. Yeah, I play. Uh, well, I. Do I say. I, I have played Far Cry 2. It's. I played the multiplayer too, mostly. Um, yeah. But no, I played a little bit of the campaign, and then mm. I got really annoyed the fact that I had to keep doing submissions for Millennium yeah, but, pills. Yeah, they annoyed me to shit. And it was always the same dude giving you the same pills, just at a different house. Mm. Mm, I did two of those missions, and then I was like, oh, fucked off. Yeah, same. I, I went thought. to multiplayer, played with you and Chris for a long time, and then just sort of put down the game and never played it again. And then Far Cry 3 came up, which was bloody brilliant. Yeah, have you played Far Cry 3, Alfie? No, I have, like I say, I haven't played any of the Far Cries. I've got Far Cry 1 installed, but not played. You should yeah. play it. Well, <laughs> I've, I've played Far Cry 3. Zach, I think you've played Far Cry 3. I've played Far Cry 3, beaten it like five times already. General so consensus brilliant. is brilliant, right? <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. brilliant. The fact that they don't limit you and you can attack a base from any direction you want. And, and any way possible you yeah, want. It's like, it's like the ultimate open platformer. It is just brilliant. I love the fact that you can just level up by getting tattoos. It's just so cool. Oh, the tattoos, yeah. <laughs> it's like, um, oh, I can't use an RPG properly. Here, I've got a tattoo for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, just get a tattoo. Right, I'm now aim perfectly with an RPG. <laughs> it's just like, um, oh, my explosive power's not good enough. Here, here's tattoo. a tattoo for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just oh. brilliant, though. Also, like the fact Alfie that you're not getting enough anal seepage. There's a tattoo for that. <laughs> I also like the fact where you can't just buy upgrades from the shop. You have to go out and make them yourselves from the animals you kill. Yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of interesting interesting uh, feature that they built built into it. Yeah. But My... what I would have liked is if that they had anything to do with what they were actually doing. Yeah. Like, uh, why would I need a shark skin? I would like can... because shark skin is not the strongest. You know, if I wanted to do everything, I'd go like. I get how they had to. They they did it so that you would explore the island more. Yeah. But if I had buffalo hide, and I could make a really strong bow, bow holding. Yeah. Out of it, why couldn't I do the same thing for a wallet? Yeah. True. Why couldn't I do the same thing for this and that? All they do is hold things. Yeah, but I see what you mean there, but I guess it's to like explore and find more creatures and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Which I don't mind, which is I explore the island half the time anyway. Mm. <clears throat> Just running around, see if I can find anything to kill. I barely done, like when I first played it, I must have done like four missions in the campaign and buggered off exploring the island. Mm. What ended up happening with me is uh, I was getting close to the end. Yeah. And uh, I ended up having a friend come over. And yeah. I put him on Far Cry 3. Yeah. And he, he was having a whale at the time just killing shit. Yeah. Left and right. Just, you know, he didn't even look. He ended up killing civilians, like loads and loads of civilians, <laughs> saying, This is really easy. Yeah, that's because you're killing civilians. <laughs> but no, I remember. He, he, ended up killing, he ended up killing them. And then he ended up going up against a base where he actually had to, uh, you know, destroy the base and win it for himself yeah so the first thing he did was he drove a car straight into the middle spun around with a with a heavy machine gun trying to kill everyone failed miserably oh, I think he walked in with story. an RPG and ended up blowing himself up went in again with a bow and arrow <laughs> and ended up failing miserably again and he's like how do you do this so what I did was like there's a cliffside right next to it what if I was to go up this cliffside Throw some C4 over the edge, ba boom, place is mine. <laughs> yeah, I love the fact that you can just attack it from any angle and do stuff. Yeah, I try to like from like way across the map is kind of cool. I love the I like what I like to try and do is um try to like stealthily attack the base with like bows and a knife. 
Mm, I like I like getting stealth stealth winning the base like no one really knows what's going on. Oh, uh, was it? I hate the fact where you start off and you can't knife assassinate knife the heavy armored dudes. Yeah. And then you're just like oh hit there's a tattoo for that here you go. <laughs> I can't knife a big dude. Yeah, there's a tattoo for that. Yay! Far Cry oh. Three Blood Dragons coming out. Oh, that looks. It's like a major piss take, but it looks awesome. It's a major piss take of the eighties, just right there. If the eighties, wasn't it? I think it was, yeah. But it looks awesome. Yeah, it's just like a major piss take of every single game from that era. I don't know, was it the eighties? Eighties, nineties era, I'd say. Uh, there it is, Blood Dragon. But it's just a massive piss take. Yeah, eighties. 80s version of the future. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because I remember 80s were saying like, oh, this is what's going to happen. We're going to have robots and shit and we're going to yeah. live on the moon. <laughs> In the 80s, they were saying like, we're going to have robots and laser guns and stuff. And well, live on the moon. <laughs> it's, it's now 2013. I'm still waiting for the... Um, you know the future that Back to the Future said? Where it's like 2015, we'll have flying cars, miniature pizzas, if you put them in the microwave for like five seconds. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still waiting for that. <laughs> no. Back to the Future. That was quite a good series. It was, it was. And it actually did everything right. Hmm. Well, apart from the fact that flying cars and microwave <laughs> pizzas that take five seconds. <laughs> yeah. But it was... I thought the movies were really done but well. But they, they got the science right. Hmm. Which is the important part. Yeah. Uh, it, you can't just you you can't say okay I'm going to the future. Now you're going back to the future. Nope. Like he has to wait a week for the lightning to strike, get it all prepared, and everything like that. Talking about jewels and stuff, and he's not talking about it as if the audience is stupid either. No. Uh, that's that's one thing that takes me off about Star Trek quite a bit. Hmm. You know, it talks to it talks to them as if people don't know how things work. Oh dear. I I understand how multiverse theory works. Not completely, mind you. Don't but explain I do this have again. a general idea of how it works. You kind of melted my brain last time you tried to explain this to me. Yeah. Alfie, do you have a basic understanding of multiverse? Mm, do I need to know? No, not really. <laughs> then my answer is yes. What? <laughs> 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 uh. well, okay, this brings me on to my next subject. <laughs> okay, Zach, what's your next subject? What's your favourite dog? Husky. Doug? Hold on a minute. Are you on Google? <laughs> I'm trying to think I... of the name of the breed. Mine's a pug. <clears throat> Mine's a warm hole dog. Hole. <laughs> warm dog holes. <laughs> Alsatian. Pretty... Al Alsatian. Yeah. So what? Pretty... Alsatians. You like Alsatians? Yes. I think Are my. You... Sorry, go on, Zach. No, you were saying. I was gonna say. He's telling me he's like he likes Alsatians. Yeah. yeah, I like Alsatians. What's wrong with liking an Alsatian? Nothing. I have to say my top three favourite dogs are Pug, Husky, and a German Shepherd. Oh. I don't. I don't really like Pugs. But that's so cool. Look at look at the Pug. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything bad against them, but I, I just don't like them. I wouldn't like one as a pet. I've got one. He's so cool. He's called Bruce. Yeah, I know. He's got the same name as my dad. <laughs> yeah, you got you got confused, didn't you, once when I shouted Bruce? Yeah, I thought you shouted at my dad. <laughs> no, I was shouting at my pug. My dad, what? This person doesn't like you. <laughs> uh, Alsatian and Huskies, my my favourites. Yeah, Husky. Husky. Huskies are just beautiful dogs. They are. But I like the ones that sort of have the eyebrows and they look angry. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, yeah. No, no, I accidentally started playing the I Have a Jar of Dirt remix song. Whoops. I, I like Marmot Huskies, the big ones. The big and fluffy ones. Yeah. But I, I don't really like dogs. I, I prefer cats. 
No uh, pun intended. Oh, I'm, I'm not a cat person. I'm more of a dog person. Yeah, I've, I've, I've had cats, cats and they were boring as hell. The, the, got... the coolest thing that uh, a cat did, that a cat of mine did, was I put um, a little piece of meat on the side of the table and the cat went from the floor up to almost human height to the table picked up picked up the uh, the piece of meat not in its mouth but in its paw literally gripped it went back to the floor and started eating it well <laughs> see this is where you've gone wrong because what you need is a laser pointer and they'll chase that thing around for fucking dogs ages dogs do it too oh so funny except if you put a dog on a floor that it can't get grip yeah. it slides into things slides into things yeah <sighs> Yeah, true. Especially, we'll especially just... when you zip it past his face and then it can't stop and it starts, you know, rolling over because it's just sliding along. <laughs> oh, animals can be so stupid. We'll leave a link to the description of a monkey masturbating. <laughs> www.manhub.com forward slash monkey masturbation. <laughs> monkey rates frog. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Doberman, Doberman eats Rottweiler. <laughs> We're going to put a link of one man, one jar into the description. <laughs> one man, one golden retriever. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh. no. One no, woman, one Rottweiler. <laughs> Two girls, one cup. Two girls, one Rottweiler. Do not, do not watch if you're very fond of chocolate ice cream, guys. Because <laughs> you'll be put off forever. I will not be linking to that at all. <laughs> And why not? Because I won't be linking to that ever. <laughs> okay, oh. everyone everyone who's interested, PM me. I'll give you a free video of one man, one cup. <laughs> Which will be Alfie in a cup. It, it's homemade. <laughs> it's, just, it's, a, it's basically a video of me being cupped by these two. <laughs> 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 One oh. testicle for each of you. <laughs> I get oh, one ginger nut for each of you. There you go. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm oh god! I don't even know how to reply to that. <laughs> don't say no. Just say yes. No. Yes. <laughs> oh. Balls are cold. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh fuck, itchy nuts! There we go. So religion, this isn't a sketchy. Topic. <laughs> oh, this ain't gonna be an issue. Yeah, this isn't gonna co- this isn't gonna start a war or anything. So, no. is there anyone here who is religious? No. No. <laughs> That's your fucking topic up the shit, isn't it? Okay, one sec. No, that was that was a Zach going. No, that you are religious, aren't you? No, fuck no. <laughs> no, okay, okay. This that's even better though, because there'll be no one who's offended by anything I don't, said. I don't believe in the devil because people are bad enough. That's really I thought the devil was my bitch. The devil is my bitch. And for better or for worse, and you don't care which. Anyway, carry on. That's a, that's a good idea, you know, devil worship you bands. Some people just don't get the difference between rock and devil worship. Nope. Devil worship is like Hitler on crack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is what we're going to call him. Crickler. <laughs> oh, you can see what he just typed into the uh, the chat. He typed in Crickler. <laughs> hey, Crickler! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh my oh. God. Yes, my people, I'm ready to get off crack right after I have some more crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God! Oh, Oi, Goebbels, Goebbels, check this out. Some crack here. <laughs> hey, Peter, what are you doing? Crack? What the fuck? <laughs> you told me to stop drinking. This is another extreme. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get crack? Blacks. What? <laughs> 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 oh, it's like 
he walks back in five minutes late. Hey, Peter, just come. Uh, they took my baby away. <laughs> I want to check on you, make sure you. Uh, they took my baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, okay. Um, oh, sh- fucking shout out to Family Guy. <laughs> well, as far as religions go, I don't have a religion personally, but. Uh... I don't. My my grandmother, she, uh, she for a long time was a. Ah, oh, what do you call them? There's Christians that don't worship Christmas. Oh. Catholic? No. 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 Pe- people generally refer to them as penguins. <laughs> really annoying. They always come up to your door knocking. Have you had the good word? Um, that's Jehovah's the one, Jehovah's Witness. Witness. She was a she was a Jehovah's Witness for a long time. But I personally think and there's it's my a racism more... coming through right there, my my full on racism right in the face. But Jehovah's Witnesses, it's not that they just don't celebrate Christmas. They they don't believe in certain things like um or some people don't believe in certain things like blood tra- blood transfusions and operations and things like that mm. because of their religion. <laughs> yeah, like, which is like. How can, for one, how can you not believe in it? It exists. That's yep. like saying, you know what? I don't believe in gravity. Doesn't mean you're gonna fly away, you fuckface. Oh, but yeah. that'd be so cool. Yeah, it would be. You know, it, it's not gonna happen though, is it? You're not gonna say, nope. right? I don't believe in gravity, and you're gonna fly off. Saying yeah, I don't believe me. in blood transfusions isn't gonna make them stop because they they save lives. They do. You know, for one, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that sort of technology. You know, yeah. When I when I broke my leg, I lost a lot of blood. If it wasn't for the fact that they were feeding blood back into my system, I would have died. Shit. Well, what we didn't know was what you didn't know was it was actually anal seepage keeping you alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh shit, we're out of this guy's type of blood. Right, give him anal seepage. They will oh, never know. Of his blood type. Well, okay. Quick, Bob, anal just shit in this pipe. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor's just there with a pipe in his arm. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. I'm keeping this man alive. <laughs> ah! I had the nasty curry last night. <laughs> My ring burns. Ah! <laughs> oh. You have permission to call it a chili ring. Ah! <laughs> oh, after a good night out of the Indian, your bum looks like a Japanese flag. Oh. <laughs> Oh. That's some rising sun right there. Oh no. <laughs> that was an alright game. Medal of Honor Rising Sun. Oh yeah, talking of Medal of Honor Rising Sun. That was a good game. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I really did. I mm. I played the uh, the first mission a couple of times before I actually moved on. Yeah. I liked it, you know, fighting everything at Pearl Harbor. That was really fun. Yeah. And like half the Marines were in was, their underpants. It was better than the rest of the Medal of Honors. It was. Especially the new ones. Yeah. Yeah. Did the the new ones, the campaigns were really, really buggy. Mm, I found that. I went ahead of the guy on the quad bike once, and that's it. He decided to have a tantrum and sit in the same place for the rest of the like. I got to the end, and I had to go all the way back to the beginning where I, where I had passed him. Yeah. I then had to go behind him slightly, and then he would move on. <laughs> Oh, every, like, t- every time I went in front of him, he'd instantly stop and have a tantrum that he's not winning. <laughs> nope, I, I'm not winning. Nope, not carrying on. Nope. Nope, not moving. But I'm back. I'm at the, I'm at the end. Nope, nope. <laughs> uh, what's, what was that game that came out that was really, really buggy? Your mum. <sighs> oh, harsh. What My God. I don't know, I can't remember what game it was, but it was quite recent. It was really buggy. Dead Island? No, not that. That was, that was extremely buggy. That was buggy as shit. That, ca- that came out with dev commands still in the PC version. <laughs> there were people no-clipping around the map from the first room. Like, just started no-clipping everywhere. <laughs> oh, It's not Source, is it? I don't know. I can't remember. Um, mm. What games have come out recently that have been pretty buggy? Wasn't New Vegas really buggy when it came out? No, oh, New Vegas wasn't bad. Well, I can tell you a high quality game for... Far Cry 3 was actually pretty buggy when it first came out. Was it? I didn't know. Yeah, on a PC version, yeah. Oh, right. If you, if you had changed any of the keys on the keyboard, yeah. Yeah. It would instantly 
decide never to give you the ability to press a button in the quick time events. Ah. Oh. Like, it, the, you know the buttons it comes up, it says, like, a uh, mash A. Yeah. Yeah? Well, it just says mash nothing. <laughs> you just, like, uh, where it should say, you know, push this key. Yeah. It it, says there's nothing push. there. Push, just, just push, and then just nothing. <laughs> and it says just mash. push your PC. And then nothing. <laughs> oh, there was it. In Far Cry 3, I really did not want to kill Vars. I just yeah. thought he was an epically Kill, insane killing him, villain. Killing him at the fir- on the first island, you know. I'm glad that the second island went very quickly because I was some sort of super soldier. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm glad just... because if he didn't go very quickly, I would have got really pissed off because Hoyt is not as good as uh, Vars is. Va- Vars was just brilliant, insanely well played out did villain. You, did you see like the YouTube video trailer thing they brought out where they like did a, like, a, a little sub movie? Yeah, yeah, I saw was, that. It was Vars and what's his name from um, Superbad. Oh, yeah, him. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, that I was, thought it was yeah. pretty good. Oh, look, it's McLovin. <laughs> <laughs> and he, and he, he, he thought... stands up and he looks over and he sees them on the rocks for like a second. He's like, I got eyes like a hawk, you know? <laughs> Although Vars was just really well done villain I thought oh. yeah have some more protein have some more protein <laughs> oh what's that what's that in the protein what did you put in my protein what did you put in it what did you put in it oh do you know what that was that was you that was your that was a bullet in your friend's leg you've ripped my <laughs> leg <laughs> oh dear yes that was Barry you fed me Barry oh <laughs> Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? <laughs> oh. I don't like the way you're looking at me right now. Did I ever tell you the definition <laughs> of insanity? I just love it how Jason Brody starts off like a little like coward in a way. Then towards the end he just becomes this ultimate soldier. Yeah. Was cool. Which is how most games off. But he 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 does the change in like a few seconds. He goes from someone that yeah. cries after he kills his first person, the first person he kills with the, with the uh, the knife. Yeah. When when he's jumping down on you and then you you. Yeah, and he just knives him in the neck. Yeah. Hitler with a damage boost. <laughs> <laughs> Critler. Critler. Hitler with a damage boost. Critler. <laughs> I, f- I felt that needed to be said, so I just did. So we got Crickler. Which is Crickler Hitler is crack. Hitler on crack. And Hitler, Hitler damage boost damage is Crickler. Okay. H- Hitler on a treadmill is Fitler. <laughs> but, 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 but after you've killed that first person, that's it. You start killing everyone. Yeah. It's like, oh, I've killed one person now. I'm, I'm all right. Yeah. I can understand how it would get easier over time. Yeah. But after you've killed your first person. And I still like mm. how at, by the end of it, even if you're skinning like a, a, a pig, you're still going, He's still like, ew. Oh, shit. Like, ew, 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 ew. Yeah. Like, come on. You burned people alive. You stabbed swords and knives and other things through their necks, through their backs, and you're still getting disgusted by skinning an animal. <clears throat> to be fair... The first option was more fun than the second option. What was the second option? The second option was skiing the pig, and the first option was burning people and, <laughs> and, st- and st- stabbing them in the neck and the heart and the brains and the warm holes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but oh, if, fucking if you're doing all that, how can you get disgusted by skinning a pig? I don't know. Because pigs are disgusting. You're disgusting. But bacon is very, very tasty. <laughs> oh. So, have any of you read any books? Uh, I've read the, I've read two books, and I'm working on my third. This is in my life, by the way. Yeah. I've read Halo: The Flood, which is basically the book about Halo One, but it's from three points of view on the story. Right. It's the point of view of Chief. Uh, a marine and the covenant. I see. Yeah, it's from three different points of what's happening. I've read 
Halo. That'd be interesting harvest. to see it from the Covenant's point of view. It was pretty good. The Covenant story. It's pretty much like this one elite who tries to kill the chief over and over again. Like his main mission is to kill the chief. Mm. Mm. And like certain events that happen in the game were because of him. Yeah. And stuff that almost kills the chief is because of him. Just so, just thinking here. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is going to need some sort of schedule to it. Schedule? Zombo's podcast is going to need some sort of schedule to it. Oh, right, okay. Right. And I'm listening. So, I'm listening. what do you, what, what should we do here? Like, Fridays? Uh, Friday's good for me. Yeah, because what yeah. I'll do is I'll record it on the Friday. No, it, not yeah. for me, actually. It will be uploaded oh, right. on the following Friday. Oh. Alfie's not, not good for me. Friday. No, I'm not good for Fridays. You're not good for Fridays? No, not every Friday anyways. No, what what fri- what days would you be good for? Um anything but Friday and the weekend. Oh, okay. Um Well, I mean, it, some Fridays it, it can be I recorded can. any any day because it's not, you know. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, true. Yeah. But uh, yes. I'll be I'll be uploading it on a Friday. So uh, what days would be re- would we be recording this? Uh I'm free any day, you know me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm free after five. Hmm. So any day after five, yeah, it'd really. Have to be, it'd have to be one of the days where I'm not in college all day. Which it, is... Uh, well, I'm in college all day practically... Tuesdays... Mondays, uh, it's like uh, almost a full day. Tuesdays and f- uh, Thursdays is a full days. Wednesdays hmm. is also a rather long day because I have to go into uh, Tesco's for uh, work experience. Right. <clears throat> Thursdays then? Mondays. <laughs> no, it's a Thursday as I said is a full day for me. Well, we'll come on oh. and then we'll see if we feel like it and then, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say Mondays or something like that. Hmm. Well, Monday I finish at 10.45 so I'm all good. Yeah, because Mondays I finish two, hmm. two in the afternoon. Mondays I finish at five, hmm. which is like every day really for you, Alfie. Which is for every day, yeah. <laughs> so Monday then. Yeah, Mondays. Cool. Because I won't be particularly <clears throat> tired. Because when I'm in college all day, I'm in college from. I'm in college. Uh, I leave at seven in the morning, so. Hmm. Dang. I also have to work around some other things because I'm still on the trial for uh, that job I was talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have to work around Zach's massive ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, literally, it's always in the way. Well, I'm so... Anyway, what was we talking about? Uh, I don't know. Far Cry. Far Cry. No, that was a while pretty ago. Sure we, pretty sure we went on to another subject. Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor. Another uh, subject. Sea Pidge again. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh... Battlefield. What about Battlefield? Anyone play Battlefield? Played yeah. most of the Battlefields. Yeah. What Battlefield? Me, you and... What was favorite, it? Me, favorite you Battlefield. and Chris used to whore Battlefield 3 multiplayer when it was good. Battlefield well, it still 3. is. Yeah. Battlefield 3. Yeah. Battlefield 3 yeah. multiplayer. That, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 to... no, no, no. Battlefield by Company 2. Oh, yeah. Onslaught mode. That was brilliant. It was a good game, yeah. I can't deny that. Just me, you, and Chris raping onslaught mode on the hardest difficulty. Yeah, Chris having to having to do the actual running around because you know me, <laughs> me being I was a better pilot than I was anything. Uh, do you remember where it was on multiplayer? You, me, and you in the helicopter. Yeah, yeah, I do. I used to hit like everything with that gun. Yeah, I used to be a pretty good pilot. I used to be able to dodge RPGs most of the time. And then you were just oh, like, yeah. shit, I'm getting so many kill assists here. Yeah. I remember a game when you was in one of the jets on Battlefield 3, and you got like nearly the most amount of points for just staying in the jet the whole game. <laughs> just ridiculous. Didn't Chris tell a story where he Who got in the that? jet? That was you, Doug. That was me? Yeah, that was you, yeah. yeah. I played Battlefield 3 with you, Alfie? Yeah. Yeah, you have before, yeah. I can't remember. Don't you remember... Don't you remember? And um, 
there was two people crawling along the floor and I was running after them with my knife and I couldn't Oh help yeah. Them. <laughs> and then we started to do it, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, I yeah, I remember that now, that game where it was on um the desert map. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, and I jumped in the jet and I was like, uh, okay, just just target things and I'll I'll destroy them. And it's like every few seconds I see a tank pop up, instantly destroy it. Oh, tank, destroy it. Oh, yeah, was... destroy it. <laughs> I was rapidly fucking pressing the target button <laughs> all the time. Like, target, I'm, target, target. Yeah, because as, have... as soon as you target it, it would be gone within the next 30 seconds. I must have unlocked every single attachment and upgrade for the saw heavy machine gun in a few games. I unlocked everything for the jet and the helicopters. Yeah. I didn't I'm... really play too much of it. Oh, I'm always the heavy gunner in most games. Yeah. Because heavy guns are real man's toys. Mm. But all these games I want to play, but there's no one really to play them with. Mm. Well, That's... you know, I've got quite a few games. It depends what game you want to play, and I'm I'm almost always up for playing a game. Yeah, yeah. but mo- most of mine are on console rather than PC. Ah, oh, well, then that's, that's a problem. Yeah, you I'm know, right. I'm available, Alfie. Yeah, but every time we try to play a game, it never lets us play together, lol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're trying to play <laughs> NLC yeah. pitch together. No, you're That's not allowed right. to play that. <laughs> yeah, 69 anal seepage, monkey riding, <laughs> pig backwards, bestiality, 69 position. Uh, manhub.com. Manhub.com <laughs> forward slash bestiality, 69. Oh, it's getting good here. Don't forget to use the... Uh, the discount code seepage ten. No, don't forget to use the discount code crickla ten. <laughs> Crick, yeah, crickla ten, <laughs> and you get ten percent off your next Hitler purchase. <laughs> Hitler DVD. Yeah. But you get you to get... see him become Crickler. <laughs> <laughs> you get ten percent off your new, off your next um, Jude Star. This is the document <laughs> of Hitler's addiction to crack. And how he became Crickler. <laughs> Did you know? It's like he's sitting there for a second, just snorts it, puts his head up. He looks like, you know when Peter like sniffs meth? Yeah. He just looks like that. Jordan. <laughs> here's, a, here's a fact about Hitler, right? Right. He actually needed glasses to read, but he thought wearing the glasses was a sign of weakness. So he yeah. got all his speeches <laughs> printed in um in large font. Yeah, I heard that. There yeah. you go. Hmm. <clears throat> you also snorted coke when he had damage boost. <laughs> <laughs> so he was he was crick crick litter. <laughs> oh, oh dear. he took speed yeah. when he went into Russia. Yeah. <laughs> Speedler. Speedler. <laughs> Speedler. <laughs> Quickler. Quickler. How long have we been going now? Like two hours? Something like that. It's not been, exactly two hours because we sat around waiting a bit. I've been rapidly stroking my penis throughout. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how long have you been jacking it for? Like five hours. Oh, okay then. <laughs> You've been jacking it for a lot longer than we've been doing this for then. Uh, about that. Like imagine a laser sight. I'm going to have to get like. a lot of gaming footage to cover two hours. But... Yeah, you are. <laughs> We're going to have to play a lot of games. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, shall we call it? I think we can continue just a little bit longer. It depends. Yeah, Zach, you're such a fucking quitter. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, you will be sorry when I ram that massive fucking burger down your throat. Oh, bring it in it. I'm, I'm going to bring it to your man. I'm okay, gonna... where did Jamaicans come into this? Isn't he trying uh, to do a Londoner's accent? I'm gonna give you the beer can. <laughs> I'll give you the beer can. I'll give you the beer can I'm... and the beef. I'm giving you all the Jamaican beer can. <laughs> hey, don't worry, brother. I'll bring you the beer can. Don't uh... worry, my brother. Oh. I, I oh. make the brownies. I'm making the space brownies. Yeah, man. They take you to the moon and back, eh? <laughs> Jamaica has a bobsled team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's even worse than when he's singing it. 
Oh, Edge okay. Maker, we have a bobsled team. Sled team. <laughs> There's oh. the one Sanka and the one. <clears throat> I give you a dollar to shut up. <laughs> All right then. Oh. I give you, you, you a you dollar for anal seepage. <laughs> but don't forget, you can use the discount code Crickler. <laughs> Crickler. <laughs> 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 Jamaican you get, bobsled team with a discount. Yeah, you get you get ten percent off your next Jamaican bobsled, um, bobsled team. team. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, what the yeah. hell? I've actually run out of topics. I ha- I have a page full of topics and we've run out of them. Really? Shit. Oh, Minecraft. Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft. Is I've there ever a, a better game? game? I've seen a lot of new mods come about. Mm. Yeah. Like, there's, there's tech it and all that, but then there's one called Feed the Beast Launcher. <laughs> and it's got a load of other fucking mods in it. I'll but... tell you what you should make. Go on you on. should make the annual seepage block. <laughs> now, what Just... I should do is, you know when the blocks ex- explode, or no, no, you know when a few particles come off the blocks when you break it? Yeah, if it's I just make the them, like, seepage. If I make them like brown splashes, how's that? <laughs> so when when you break a block, you, it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be brilliant. Oh, what, what should happen is you should make a block, yeah, where you can't actually destroy it. Every time you hit it, you you it pushes it in the direction that you're hitting, <laughs> and it just yeah. leaks anal seepage as it goes along. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, like um, like the um, the snow golems. Um, they yeah, leave a trail yeah. of white when you push yeah, it. it except it's like a normal brown. block. It looks like a normal block until you hit it. And oh. then it slides along the ground. No, it becomes anal have, seepage. Have anal seepage slimes. <laughs> brown slimes. Just brown slimes. And when they jump, they fart. <laughs> <laughs> when there's loads of them in the rope. <laughs> and when a when an Enderman teleports away, he farts, but then he leaves like a streak of seepage behind him. <laughs> <laughs> or when you kill him, you just reskin the Ender pearl to a seepage pearl. Oh no, the, your hearts. Oh no, sorry, your food bar is actually like jars of seepage. <laughs> <laughs> and like your health bar is just prolapse. Oh, oh, your health bar is just like kidneys popping out of an ass. <laughs> 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 oh my god oh. your armour is tits <laughs> yeah you, oh someone should make that or like a like um, a minecraft skin oh. yeah what were you just a walking pair of tits <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh. you just can get um, you can get like plain skins like a skin template and you yeah. put it on your character, and you're just like a walking, like skin-coloured, man-shaped thing. <laughs> with no bodily features at do it, all. Do it, do it, yeah, you know, do it using photogenics. The crowd goes silent. Well, where, where they, where they take, where they take a photo of like a human face, and then they upload it as a Minecraft skin. Yeah. And yeah, uh, okay. when, when it looks on your character, it looks really creepy. <laughs> Just do that, but just with tits. But <laughs> don't you look creepy anyway? Uh, you, Steve, you're alright. I'm well. I'm Agent Pig. Yeah, I'm. I, I I'm a frog. I don't know what Al- the fuck I am. <laughs> <laughs> Alfie's. Something. I'm an it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just it. You're green seepage. Yeah, I'm like. Um, imagine if a frog. Just pissed itself. <laughs> That's what it looked like. www.manhub.com Frog pisses itself. Frog pisses itself. And then eats it. <laughs> and then decides to masturbate. But don't forget, if you can use, you can use the um, the discount code, <laughs> do, you, do you even bat ladder 10? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you can use uh, we, we're you giving can use away a lot discount of... code Batman ten. <laughs> <laughs> we're giving away a lot of uh, discount codes here, people. So, you know, if you're not going to use them, then we'll use them to buy our own products. <laughs> Just go to so, www. Use, use the discount code. Tickle me, Homer. 
<laughs> Use the discount code I'm not a homo 10. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it always 10? Because <laughs> it's a good number. It is. Oh. People are like, what was that number again? Ah, oh, 10. <laughs> Don't forget yep. to use the discount code 01189 I don't know what this is. I don't know what a reference that is, too. IT crowd. IT crowd. Is it on YouTube? Yes. Uh, it's, yeah. Think? Search, search IT. Okay, I'll give you a link. <laughs> You'll laugh, though. A bit of a warning for you. Okay. It was in season one, episode two, I think. Oh yeah, and I remember we were talking about um, religion. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. Not a far cry. What am yeah. I on? Or anal seepage. <laughs> well, we Although always it could be. <laughs> <laughs> Although we're always on that topic. And manhub.com and discount codes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Damn right. Okay, um, Gotta love a good discount code for manhub. Uh, Favorite movie of all time. Oh, you are a whore. Um, that's a good movie. <laughs> I know, right? Favorite I'm gonna movie. say, I'm gonna say Captain America. Limited, limiting your prospects a bit there, aren't we? Yeah, but it's the best film I've seen so far. Mm. It's hard to tell because there's a lot of good movies out there. Like, um, I don't. Uh, that's, that's a- you like, keep thinking, you keep thinking, I'll, uh, I'm just going to watch um, this. Uh, there's really good movies like Dog Soldiers, Saving Private Ryan, Outpost. Reservoir Dogs. That's a brilliant film. Don't care what um, anyone it's a brilliant movie. Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the that's Dead, a that's a good film. Yeah. I'm Anything, with... Anything with that guy in it, I can't think what, what his name is. Simon Pegg. That's it. Oh, Hot Fuzz. What oh, a film. Hot Fuzz. Uh, when when he's when he's leaping over the fences and then the <laughs> yeah, fat then guy just runs through just the fences. Through yeah. It. Well, I like how Nick have... Frost, isn't it? Yeah. I love it how they have so many references like that throughout their whole films. Like yeah. Shaun of the Dead, do you want anything from the shop, Cornetto? And that's <laughs> in Hot Fuzz. And the fence was in Shaun of the Dead as well. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I like that. Okay, yeah, what were you, you talking about? IT crowd. Uh, you should watch movies. the IT crowd. Um, go on to um, four on demand, um, and you can watch it all. You can watch all the series there. They're so funny. I'll do that later. But um, yeah, we were talking about good films like Hot Files, Shaun of the Dead, um, well, it's Reservoir Dogs, Dog That's Soldiers. Good. Oh, Dog Soldiers is good. Dog Soldiers. I have yeah. to say, one of my favourite movies has to be Outpost. Ah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, um, bad, bad boys. You got the original Dawn of the Dead. No, uh, yeah, that was quite good. Bad boys. Bad I boys. saw Bad Boys Two. Bad that Boys Two good. was good as well. Yeah. Uh, bad boys, bad boys. What you, what you gonna, gonna do the... when we come for <laughs> you, bad boys, bad boys? Dude, you really gotta learn the rest of that song. Yeah, well, you can only do the chorus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear! Yeah. Oh, great movie. <laughs> uh, what other ones you got? Um, the, uh, uh, Starship Troopers uh, one. That was pretty good. That was a good movie. Uh, the original the Jurassic Park movie. Uh, the original Stargate. Never saw it. Never saw it. It was a brilliant movie. Thomas uh, the Tank Engine and the Magic Railroad. That was oh, an awesome movie. Your uh, Pearl Harbor. Good movie. Um, the first Pokemon Resident Evil movie. movie. I didn't see it. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That's a good film. <clears throat> what is? Resident Evil. I saw, I saw the second one they brought out. The first one is the best. It is. It definitely is by far. It's quite a low budget film, but it's really, really good. Uh, like, uh, like on, what, the fifth? Is it the fifth movie? I think they're on the fifth movie right now. Yeah, I don't think that's very good, to be honest. In the second one was all right, and then I thought the one m- they're mining stop. on a planet, blue mining. people. Avatar. Avatar. Avatar was a good movie. Oh yeah, that was. I all liked right, Avatar, yeah. but I thought that the first half of the movie got off really slow for me. 
It really did, yeah. And then, like, the rest of it was pretty good. It. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, uh, Predator 1 and 2, they're good movies. Oh, Predator 1 was an amazing movie. It was. Predator 2's alright. Yeah. I liked Alien vs. Predator 1 as well. Yeah, that was good. The second one was I'll... just... No. <laughs> I've not seen any of them. A- uh, Aliens? Aliens. Super bad. Aliens 2 was better than Aliens 1. Yeah, by far. Super bad. I never saw that film. Super bad was a good one. It's not too bad, I guess. I liked it. The Goonies. <laughs> Devil. Has anyone seen Devil? No. Oh, good film. That's such a good film. Whether in the whether in the lift. Yeah. Oh God, I love that film. How many people were in that lift? Wasn't it like eight? Um, five. Five of them. Uh, what I was think... that? What was that film in with uh, Nicolas Cage and a kid? Knowing. That narrows it down. Knowing. That was oh good. yeah, that's a good film. Where they like predict the end of the world or something. Yeah, yeah, they're predicting yeah, with these the bad events, and then all of a sudden he's yeah. like, it just ends. Yeah, that was a really good film. I thought that yeah. was a really good film. So uh, it's quite hard p- to pick out your favourite one because there are just so many good movies out there. But one I could watch over and over again, and I don't care what anyone says, it still makes me cry at the end. Is Pearl Harbor? Good film, yeah. really good film. But there's what there's a couple that are really good, you know. Even though I don't cry to it, uh, but I I still enjoy the movie, and I could watch it over and over again. Save and Private Ryan, I could watch that that hundred times over, and I same. Really yeah, that's such a good film. There's that's so good. many movies you can watch over and over again and not get bored. Oh, good news, guys! There's a follow-up to Finding Nemo. It's called Finding Dory. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. <laughs> Out in 2015. No, seriously, it is. This is real. It is a real. Swim thing. into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> just keep swimming. Just, just keep, keep swimming. swimming. Is it going to be like Nemo and his dad trying to find Dory? <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, Dory's relatives gets eaten by um by a shark. Did you know about or, or, clownfish? Or is, uh, or is Nemo like, oh no, now we got to search for Dory. You know what? I'm just going to go off in a half and I'm going to disappear again. <laughs> or did you know that there's a dominant in in a like a group of clownfish? Yeah. There's one dominant male and a female. And when the female dies, the dominant male becomes the female, and then another male becomes the dominant male. Huh. What yeah. The fuck? It, they they that. change sex, yeah. Huh. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, look at me. I'm just going to turn into a female. Labyrinth. <laughs> Come at me, boys. <laughs> Labyrinth is a good movie. Oh, Paycheck. That's a fucking awesome movie. Don't know if anyone's seen that. There's a movie I like that not many other people do. Phone Booth. Yes. I've never heard of it. Yes, 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 yes. That's such a good film. I like the twist in it. Yeah. No, you spoiled the ending for me now. Well, you're going to guess what the twist is anyway. From the moment you start watching, if you know there's a twist in it, you're instantly going to be thinking about the twist. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, the twist it's in like my that, cock. It's like that episode in <laughs> IT Crowd. <laughs> There's one I watched recently. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, there's there's one I watched recently. What is it called again? Uh, hold on, hold on. I'll I'm holding on. Continue doing what you're doing, and I'll. Uh... Uh, what other good movies are out there? Um, I I really enjoyed the Punisher movies, though. I enjoyed them. Blade, Blade movies. The Blade movies were really good. I like them. I like I in the first one. Where he gets shot at by the security guards, he just turns around to them and says, Motherfucker, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is good. Um, so funny. What's that one with Arnold Schwarzenegger and um, there's a clone of him? Is it The Sixth Day? Yes. Oh, because that's a good film. Yeah. The and original they clone the total dog. Come on, God, you've English. got what you want. Now give the people the air. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny English. <coughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. American Pie, American Pie 2. Never seen them. I've seen The Wedding. That's about oh, it. Oh, oh. I, one I watched recently was uh, I Spit on Your Grave. Well, that's not very nice, is it? It's a <laughs> brilliant horror movie. Well, it is nice if you actually watch it. it basically, this woman gets raped. <laughs> oh, that sounds really nice. And what she does is she goes back and uh, she kills them in interesting ways. Hmm. 
to to get a revenge. Did you hear about um your anal seepage? Yes, I did. No, some some guy broke in to some woman's house and said, and she... "Hello, I'm Crickler." No, uh, <laughs> and and she caught him and held him hostage as a sex slave for about a week to teach him a lesson. Yes, I did. I did hear about that. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's brilliant. Oh, yeah, I heard that. That is uh, that is some class A justice right there. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to break into her house. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to break into her house and say, "Hello, I'm Crickler." <laughs> How was it? The three original Indiana Jones movies. Can you sing copyrighted music? I can do that. Okay. What fourth movie are you talking about here? I didn't like the one where the aliens were introduced. Yeah, that was the fourth movie. Yeah. I mean, it started off good, but... It was told really well. Then the aliens, I thought, really? Yeah. Bringing the really? aliens into it, it took it too far. Yeah. I mean, it was good up to that point. And I thought, fucking if really? It was just, if it was just an ancient Mayan civilization that got taught by, you know, ancient ancestors of, of, of Earth's history, that would be okay. But because yeah. they brought aliens into it, it took it too far. Yeah. I was like, nope. nope. You know, Indiana Jones is about a mystery, is about um, a right. history it, of cultures and shit. Exactly. It's, it's about the culture and how religion has changed the world and how religion yeah. has affected the world. And then and, they brought aliens into it. And beca- it's because of that religion because religions believe in magic and even mm. even if you say you don't, you know, your religion says you do. Yeah. If you, if you believe in a giant spaghetti monster in the sky <laughs> that pokes the world and tells people to exist, then you believe in magic. Hmm. <clears throat> if like... you believe in a Man bashing skull demon in the ground that brings hellfire to the surface whenever someone's bad. You believe magic. in magic. You can watch Keep, a, like, a weekly episode of that at manhub. www.manhub.com forward slash magic. Use the discount dear. code indie12. <laughs> <laughs> Use the discount code. Schwarzenegger tells Kahagan to give the people the air because he's got what he's want, 10. <laughs> Get to the chippy! Get to the chippy! Ah! <laughs> Get to the chipper! <laughs> Get to was the, the chipper! The first few Die Hard movies were pretty good. Mm. Yeah. Like the first one yeah. was good. Mission first Impossible. One. Nah, I didn't like him. Any of them. Hmm. In fact, I think the second one was better than the first one, but that's like the better of a of a bad situation. Hmm. Uh, what else is good out there? It's like the difference between having cancer and dying from cancer. <coughs> that's a really, really bad comparison. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's a bad metaphor choice there, Doug. Yeah. Oh, watching a movie like having cancer. <laughs> <laughs> www.manhub.com slash yeah. having cancer use discount uh, code cancer12 yeah use discount code use cancer12 discount code metaphor12 <laughs> use discount code cancer10 to get Doug's address so that you can burn him at the stake <laughs> <laughs> oh dear use discount code die hard die, die hard 12 <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> oh my god. Um, I'm trying to think of really good movies out there. Yeah. Uh, series. What about series? Series? Movie series? Oh, TV series. Mm. <laughs> um, IT Crowd's a good one. Yeah, IT Crowd by far. Uh, The Walking Dead, really good. Black Books, that's a good series. Hmm. No, I bet no one here there are some people that don't like it, but I do. I really like the Game of Thrones. I yeah. didn't even hear of it until like a couple of weeks ago. Mm. I really like it. I enjoy it a lot. I got the book, but I haven't really read it. Uh, there's loads of good series out there. Oh, one, one little, uh, you know, um, you know, Narnia. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I read the books, and the books are fantastic. Oh, the films uh, are the worst thing that ever hit the silver screen. The um, book series of um, 
a series of unfortunate events, they are very, very good books. Yeah, yeah. Very good books. And it's a Red good those. film as well. It's a very uh, good Bottom film. was a good TV series. When it was there's, out. There's, there's one book I'm reading right now that's pretty good. It's uh, the, the, it's something called something like The Winter House. Not All heard right. of it. Yeah, you probably wouldn't have. It's it's like uh, it's not very big, very very uh, famous book, but it, it's pretty good. It's like this um, this guy ends up with cancer, yeah. so he he goes he goes back to um, his house in Scotland, yeah. and he ends up calling up like uh, his ancient history to to basically, and it, all you're doing is like uh, you're reliving his history through the eyes of of um, his younger self. No, or... like his his his. I, I, I don't know how it ends, but it's like at the moment you're reliving it through the eyes of what I think it used to be one of his girlfriends. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. And she she's basically known him for a long time, but it's kind of her story, but it's his story, if you get what I mean. Oh, right. I see. Yeah. <laughs> He's seeing so how it's his life told from her perspective. Yeah. I see. I get it. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's really good the way it's done. Strange. Yeah. That's what makes it good. It's like different. I've never I've never seen it done before. No. Well, except when Gordon Freeman decides to speak. Yeah. That'll be. I know a good be... book series, and it's the best series. I don't care. The Fifty Shades. Fifty Shades of. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Shit. I call it. I've read that book, and it did nothing. I'm still waiting for the audio book. I was bored throughout the entire thing. I was aware of the fact that I'm reading. No uh, idea. Yeah. I don't like that feeling when I'm reading a book. I yeah. had that when I was reading Harry Potter. I read every single one from the first to the last. Yeah. And I was aware of the fact that I was reading throughout the entire thing. <laughs> oh, wicked. I got the <laughs> the child edition and the adult edition just to check that there's no differences <laughs> in the text. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's in the Sorry, IT crowd as well. Another IT crowd reference there. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, no, I didn't. It was an IT reference crowd. Uh, IT crowd IT reference. crowd reference. Yeah. And what is it? So they get the first book and they get. So the, they bought the they bought the um, child edition Moss. and the adult edition just to check that there's no differences in the text. <laughs> was there? Yeah, the character yeah. Moss done that. He doesn't. You don't know. He's he really don't nerdy. hear from the rest of it. No, you don't hear. Oh, I'm wondering now if that's true. <laughs> we'll buy them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've already got the adult edition. Now get I don't the child understand edition. the point of the adult edition and child edition. Just to make sure there's no differences in the text. Yeah, what are you doing with those both those books? Oh, I'm just checking the text. Why? Just making sure there's no differences. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, how do you tell that story any differently? Here's Harry. He fucks off. The end. Oh, mine. <laughs> she fucks off. Am I the what? only person in the world who hasn't seen the Harry Potter movies? Pretty much. Maybe. And I remain to keep it. I've seen them. They were, they were alright. They weren't terrible. What has Alfie sent now? I don't know. Lol's home image. Cute kitten. What? Really? I think you should have that as your thumbnail. What, cute kittens? Yeah. yeah well, what's the next thumbnail I've got to create for you? Uh... Uh... Nightmare House. Nightmare House. Yeah. Uh, but I, I've got to come up with some ideas for that. Available on manhub.com. <laughs> <laughs> www.manhub.com forward slash ideas. <laughs> You can use the discount code Tractor10. <laughs> the discount code uh, Cute Little Kittens. Yeah. Use the discount code 0118999881999. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Oh, I've got other things to talk about here. Yeah. Yeah, I, th- I think I'll end it there. Yeah, that's that was fun. Well, guys, that was uh, that was the first edition of the Zombles podcast. A bunch what? of um, 
If you if you want to follow us, you can go to manhub.com. www.manhub.com forward slash Zombles. Use the discount code Zombles10. <laughs> Use the discount code. Oh, Idle Seepage 10. <laughs> you get um, 100% off this podcast. Um, all, all the links mentioned in this in this um, podcast and all the discount codes will be in the description <laughs> Good to see you, Mr. Uh, Douglas. follow cool. Alfie at uh, <laughs> Twitter at forward slash at Alfie anal seepage and I'm follow Zach at zachsmum.com I'm just setting up that um, Twitter account now um, an- Alfie's anal seepage yeah it's all set up now guys so if you want to follow me over there I'll put very and explicit can, pictures of my fucking big ass on there. My you big can follow me, hairy ass. And you can follow me on Manhub. Just put www.manhub.com forward slash Zach's mum. You can follow me there. And use the discount code Alfie010110. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.